Hello, little ones. Would you like to hear a story? I've got one for you. From Rolling with Remus. Long ago, the land of Erion was a land of plenty, and many wanted to lay claim to its riches. When those who lived in Erion could no longer agree on who held what, civil war broke out across the entire realm, until the kobolds, in desperation to keep their kingdom afloat, summoned the dark and terrible Dragotha. The great dragon cared not for the alliances constantly made and broken across Erion, and razed many of its great cities to the ground, until a last desperate alliance finally slew the titanic worm. With no one in any shape to continue the fight, an armistice was reached, and the Great War ended. But tensions were still on the rise. Thirty years later, a ragtag group of adventurers who met at a harvest festival and joined forces to look for the missing mentor of one of their band were hired by a mysterious old man to travel to the great city-states of Iria and perform acts of heroism that those in power would not approve of. But those same acts served to heighten tensions across the land, and the old man, secretly a scheming mind flayer, revealed that once more, Irion had fallen into a great civil war. Now, with militaries and dark powers on the rise, our heroes gather their forces in hopes of saving what they can before Irion once more falls into ruin. Momo, the Arakakra cleric. You're my friend. You're my family. And I'll protect you at all costs. Corellia, the kobold paladin. I will not make the same mistakes again. Malathane, the half-elf rogue. I won't stand idle. Not while people's lives are at stake. <laughs> oh, this should be fun. Quintessa, the human fighter. You shouldn't be surprised. Everyone is out for themselves in the end. And Scam Lycan, the goblin artificer. There are three candidates, death, taxes, and my ability to dodge both. Unprepared though they might be, our heroes find themselves at the front lines of a great battle to save the fallen empires. Last time on Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires. Though our heroes were fighting valiantly against Ekthroa's strain and the Plague Lords, the tides turned against them when the Plague Lords revealed their secret weapon. A Plague Maiden. A supernatural wraith made of powerful diseases that could bypass even Corellian's supernatural resistance. In the fight, Scam and Corellian were both killed, with Ekthroas offering a chance to surrender and recover the bodies. However, when the heroes did not take it, she crushed the skulls of the two, and proceeded to go about methodically getting rid of the others. All seemed lost as the farms were poisoned, and our heroes passed beyond this mortal coil. But with a jolt of lightning, they all awoke in Annabelle's lab. The thunderstorm that had formed the scenery of their battle turned out to be a useful asset, as that very same thunderstorm was what revived Jasper, and Annabelle could redo the experiment to bring the heroes back to life, with some suturing and stapling their skulls back together as appropriate. Taking stock of what had happened in the time since they died and were brought back to life, our heroes realized that the tide was swiftly turning against them. Their tower had fallen, their walls were not looking good, and they had no food. It was clear the elves had the advantage, and, they thought, the best course of action would be to surrender. While Momo ran off to get alone to cast some raised dead spells, so that Annabelle's quick fix would not eventually degrade, and Raxadal and Malathane talked about mortality, relationships, and the obligation to stay alive no matter how bad the odds looked. The heroes gathered up their courage, or the closest thing to it, since the plan was to surrender and run away, and prepared to face the trials that were yet to come. Will they be able to evade the elves? What will happen to Battenrance Hall once the heroes flee? And will there be an actual TPK this time? Find out on tonight's episode of Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires.
Hello, and welcome to Rolling with Remix Fallen Empires. If you're on Twitch and see a different title, shut up. It's been a long day. <laughs> I, uh, I am your Dungeon Master Alex, and with me, as always, is my lovely cast and crew of players. We have Atwas. Hello. It is episode one, two, three. Isn't that great? That's so neat. We have Scott. This episode is as easy as A, B, C. Wait a minute. We have JoJo. One, two, three, one. You're not going to finish episode one. We have Queen. Hello and welcome to Disco Murder Party. We're doing it every day now. Let's go. <laughs> we no longer have Queen. She will now be murdered by me. <laughs> and we have Xander. Welcome to the death zone. I can't fucking spell. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, uh, when last we left off, there was a TPK. But then they got better, because, uh, turns out, uh, we have an alchemist friend who raises the dead in kind of horrifying ways, and our heroes took out a loan to, you know, patch themselves up so they wouldn't lose their minds and turn into flesh golem zombies. It's fine. It's fine. And I believe, after seeing that, oh man, things are going real bad... They were planning to make a surrender. That that was um, sort of what we were arguing for. It was mm. sort of a uh, make a surrender for the land itself, and then we tried to make a hasty exit and sprint to uh, Rankle's lair. Uh, that that was an idea. That. Um, at this point, Rax has come back now. Mm -hmm. Mama's still. He hasn't come back yet. I mean, pros at least. Um, the elves probably aren't going to completely, you know. Murder the civilians and defenders. We're I'm fairly mm. certain we've always been the people that they were after. Mm. So yeah. if we're out of the picture, everyone else will be left alone. Um, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, uh, if we want to just fuck off, I kind of of the opinion that we should honestly just have Baton Rant stand down. So the elves can at least allow supplies to get to refugees because they're no longer engaging in active combat with us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's under the assumption that they're willing to do that. I, I mean, see why not? I, I would not see why not. If we have stand down, then the supply line has no reason to be blocked because we're no longer actively engaging in a battle with the enemy. So, like, the elves have already been... Mo trying to move people out who aren't fighting so if we just have everyone surrender I don't see any reason why they wouldn't let supplies get to the people who are no longer fighting to you know eat since they just poisoned our fucking fields yeah mm -hmm. um I guess the other the the only issue with that is that if we surrender Baton Rants they're gonna want us which is yep. a problem since we need to be points yes. off to the sea yes. out there yeah which no is what what i'm saying is that we should absolutely just hop on a ship and fuck off and then just give everyone orders hey we're leaving once we've cleared the horizon throw up that white flag <laughs> you know i'm it would probably be highly believable just uh have maggie negotiate with them or something mm -hmm. uh you know have her say that we're to fucking cowards who fucked off and yeah. uh they'll, they'll believe they'll buy it because i mean why wouldn't they yeah no i absolutely believe that they would buy that <laughs> like yeah. yeah so i i honestly just think we just give them the plan and then the plan goes into action once we've you know cleared visual range on 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 the on the ocean so we can just tell them, hey, once we're gone, just just tell them we fucked off. We friend. I mean, how many times has this group fled a bad situation before? Like, <laughs> we've literally run away from war crimes. <laughs> like, 
So like, I don't think it's the worst thing to believe that we just fuck off. Not like they know fucking rain call is in the middle of the ocean. I think unless old ran has strongly convinced them. He has some kind of like pleasure barge out in the middle of the fucking bay. <laughs> He's just like, this is my summer home. You know, it's so oh, good. There's uh, I don't think they're going to think that we're going straight to, uh, 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 some place in the middle of the waters. And even if they are, fuck it, who cares? We'll just, if they want to come storm after us and they end up it, a, as a result, tracking us all the way somehow to Rankle's lair, then they'll see Rankle's lair. <laughs> like they'll yeah. be like, Oh, hmm, mind flare. What's happening? Like, and then hopefully something happens with that. But like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's worse to stay here any longer. Cause you like, know. yeah. Unless there are unless there are spies in here right now. They don't know we're not dead. Oh my god, that's true. Unless uh, yeah, that's a very good point. Unless they have spies on us, they have no idea we're alive. Like we we were killed by yeah. their mercenaries. Yeah. And like our bodies were recovered. But like at the very least, at the very least they could reasonably suspect that like Rax, Momo and Malifane could be rezzed. Um, because but they didn't. By, they didn't... by whom Momo, they probably would know is the most capable cleric around or healer in this camp. I, I, I'd still not, I'd still be willing to have believe that they might be able to assume okay well if they have one powerful cleric sure they have somebody else like they they maybe you know it's it's not it's not the most out there suggestion to be like maybe they have someone else but like mm -hmm. at the very least unless they have spies in here as you said they should think that corellian and scam are absolutely deceased yeah, yeah. Um, it depends i mean how, how how visibly weird science do we get outside looking at baton rans whenever you know annabelle's doing her uh, resurrection Frankenstein shit. Like, is it just a visible lightning rod and a bunch of shit happening beyond the walls, or is that not really detectable? Uh, lightning, lightning is striking lightning rods on top of the alchemist's lab. That being said, uh, even though it's a huge spectacle nearby, you don't know if the elves would be able to see it from outside. Okay. Well, That's there you go. It's not exactly um conventional. Yeah, no, know? it's. I, yeah. I, I like to think that elves would have no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah, elves, elves of all the races to be witnessing such an event would probably be like strange, bizarre. Wonder yeah. what the, oh, most unorthodox also, humans and clear. their two hickeys. Anyway, <laughs> also just to clear air and clarify something for me. Um, yeah, because I legitimately don't remember. Um, we we know that we know what happened to Zan. Uh, we know what happened to Scam and Corellian specifically. But did the um, did the plague lords just leave the other three for dead? Did they do anything specifically? Uh, y'all got poisoned to death. Okay. Yeah. Um. um so. Yeah. I guess the other question is: uh, Do we have any vessels? We we we. To... I think I think we have a ship. I think we do have a ship because didn't we say that like we got like one ship kind of okay by now, or at least like a, a ship or two kind of okay. Um, I, I can't remember. I thought that was something that was said. You have ships. You don't know if the blockade's still there. Like they backed off, but it still exists. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm mm. also gonna throw this out now. I know it takes a long ass time to actually mature, but since we have it, might as well do something with it. The clone scroll. We have it. Okay. We should use it. That's a good point. I mean, it's a good failsafe for one of us. Like, mm. and if we're gonna use the clone scroll, like we very <laughs> much need to make sure that we we are we are uniformly agreeing this is the one person who gets to survive. That is like, because that is Alex, remind me, do um do, do, do scrolls require material components? Uh, I believe scrolls substitute for material components. Okay, so we don't need all the diamonds and in, in like, two th like we don't need to spend like the 3,000 gold for it. Okay. Um, I mean, I yeah. Mean, it should I, probably be Momo if anyone... 
here's I'm here's the main Romo or Pirelli. Well, here's here's the main problem actually. Clones actually kind of useless right now because it takes 120 days for the clone to mature. And that, but May, it's still a fail safe. No, oh, it won't second, because it's then, a wizard only spell. Yeah. We'll do and we don't we don't have a wizard in the party, so no one here can cast it. Um unless we we have a wizard of Batman Rants. But even then, it actually is completely moot because your soul only goes into the clone after it's matured. Yeah. And so if it, it takes 120 days, if you're if you die before the clone is matured, your soul goes to the afterlife. Like this oh. is yeah, okay. you, so it's I it's useless to us. It is useless to us right now. Um so unfortunately, yeah, is the case. Um I know, like yeah, it is it is not not a bueno. Um, but like I said, none of us can cast it. Um Yeah. I mean, if Scam took a level in Wizard, he could attempt to cast it, but they would I would have to like hit like a I think like a DC eighteen intelligence check, which is not the yeah. most impossible thing for Scam to do. Yeah, that is not the most because like Scam has a plus five intelligence. I would, and then I can add pl- an additional plus five to it from Flash of Flash of Genius. Um, so I mean, if, if I mean, like, if if we come back from from this alive, hey, I'll happily cast it just to say we cast it, like to see if it happened. Um, yeah. So if I, I would, I would literally just need to roll like, oh, I could probably succeed at that. I would have to roll a um eight or higher on a d20 in order to succeed at that so mm. it's not the worst thing um but like i said kind of useless in this moment unless we want to wait 120 days <laughs> yeah which uh we don't have that kind of time uh well, mm-hmm. well yeah wait i have a crazy idea I alex i want to i want to confer with you on this okay one could say that the clone is aging, right? It's because it, it ages 120 days, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, here's the question. Would a ghost's supernatural terrifying visage ability that ages a creature <laughs> work? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let, let me double check. That this God, seems like that would be the dumbest fucking shit. This seems like the this seems like the deepest amount of bullshit I could get to. But I'm like, hey man, I know that canonically, um, I know that uh, canonically in like old fucking lore, a vampire can become more powerful the older it is. So literally, a ghost can make a vampire dark. ridiculously powerful. But <laughs> um, <laughs> so there there is be. questions about it. Uh, it's um. That, oh. If the timing of the clone is because it's a magic ritual, then I think artificially aging it would be moot and kind of against the spirit of it, unfortunately. It's a hilarious idea, but I don't think it would work. Also, I'm pretty sure that it only works on something that can see it. Mm -hmm. So... Ah, well, I tried. (laughs) At what point does a maturing clone have the ability to see? Let's not... (laughs) Let's not discuss this! (laughs) Um, Samantha revealing lantern directly yeah. in front of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it kind of counts. Yeah, okay. So the war, yeah, okay. But if there oh, were that was a tight idea, though, tight idea. But now here's the other question: If there, because I know there are other abilities that supernaturally age things, would those also work, or is it kind of just nah? <laughs> it's it's kind of not. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I'm glad I had the thought. So it's under those circumstances. Attempt. Yeah, under those circumstances, clone is completely useless to us. Because unless, because like Scam would absolutely pull some bullshit of like, let's get the Baton Rance ghost to fucking rapidly age this thing if possible. That's some that's some peak Scam likely scientific method right there. <laughs> Not gonna work. So we should just kind of let's leave this. Let's leave the clone <laughs> scroll in the keep of somebody we trust here you know like let somebody and i think that's that going forward anything we don't want to be lost at the bottom of the ocean should be left with our allies yeah you know because there's no guarantee we'll come out of this alive because we could never come back so if there's anything we want to leave behind now is the time to do it um or leave with someone if not behind um yeah if uh do you think it 
would be worth trying to see if anyone wants to go with us to Rinkle's Lair. Um, I know Ari would probably want to, whether she's in a condition to is another question, but um, because if nobody else does, then I mean, who's to say we need to necessarily take a boat? So I, I want to take that in two different directions. <clears throat> the first direction is from a from an out-of-character perspective, which is, well, no, from an in-character perspective, which is, do we want to risk those lives? And then from an out-of-character perspective, assuming, yes, that's okay with us, who would be the most qualified to take with us? I mean, when it comes down to it, um... Un- unlike an entire siege at Baton Rants, if anyone is coming with us, they're coming with us of their own volition. And I don't really think we have the wherewithal to say, no, I'm not letting you risk your life. It's their choice. Yeah. yeah. Um, as for who would be helpful, I mean, Ari wanted to kill that son of a bitch. Um, Annabelle would be probably useful. I'm sure there are other people that we could ask around or at least put out a quote open call and say we're doing like a we're doing an operation of some kind. I guess you could call it that. Um, <laughs> we're assembling a team. <laughs> assembling a team. But yeah, anyone who comes with us, like it's 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 their call at this point. Like it's the moments like this where I really wish Stormkirk was here. Yeah, well. So, are we allowed to call ourselves the Revengers at this point? <laughs> we regret to inform you that Fallen Empires has been taken down by a DMC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so here's what i'm getting so far from the discussion Mm. we try to keep as low profile as possible and try to not let have it be super known that we're alive and stay out of elves vision as much as possible i mean we can't completely assume that they won't know because they would have spies but they're elves yeah if possible try to or lower that possibility as much as uh, as much as we can. Uh, we convene with Maggie, who's basic, who's mostly in charge of the, uh, who's mostly in charge of the defenses, and we tell her that we're going to go on an operation. In the meantime, she can either tell the elves that we're dead or we've deserted or whatever, and surrender Baton Rants so that more civilians don't die. And if the elves hold Baton Rance, they'll at least hold off hold off any more minotaurs if they come in, probably, because I don't think they'd want to give Baton Rance up. Mm-hmm. While we uh, recruit as many people as we possibly can, uh, which might only be one or two, which is totally fine, and we book it to Wrinkle's Lair. Uh, yep. Get eyes on the blockade first. If there's still a blockade, um, we can try to go on a ship, or, you know... Water breathing works for 24 hours and is a ritual. We could just try. It'll take a while, but we could go without the use of a ship if necessary. I mean, so, yeah, um, that that sounds correct. That sounds about right, everyone. Sounds about right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, and then we also want. To uh, take a moment to be like, what of our belongings or storage that is in Bad Marines do we want to keep with trusted individuals? Mm-hmm. Things like the Resurrection Tablet, Trevlon's yeah. book, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What about um, the, the whole library itself? Um, y- y- no. I... <laughs> I think it's worth seeing what books are in there, but I don't think we can no, take no, no. a lot. Wait, uh, let me ask you this. Are there any actually useful books in the library, or are they just books? 
Uh, We've used them for research before. We don't have particular ones. There was a ones. lot of like re- books that gave advantage on researching specific stuff in the library. Okay. I mean, if we have time to research a couple things, we might use the library, but like we shouldn't take any of the books with us because those books might be lost at the bottom of the ocean. We have two people here who have advantage on history checks. So not literally, but you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so I don't think it would be too much of an issue if the majority of the library was taken by the elves. Yeah, I mean they like they like books. I'm sure. <laughs> like it wouldn't come to a significant detriment to us if the library was given up to them. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Our librarians could be fucking pissed when she gets back, but you know, it's like that. Yeah. Paper <laughs> made from trees, and they just keep shooting she, arrows at it. She, oh, she, oh, she, war, baby. It's fine. She left her entire collection of books to the mercy of a siege while she rescued her husband. It's fine. Queen <laughs> Alex, I think we may have angered the knowledge keeper. Oh, That's God. a reference only a couple people in here will get anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, um, does, does anyone have anything they want to bring up or add before we, I think everything that, this? yeah, I think honestly, everything you said is, is everything. Yeah. <laughs> At least for me. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't think of anything else. Yeah. I don't have, a, yeah, I don't have an input. I'll have to look. <laughs> I'm just here, man. <laughs> right. Cool. So, um, I guess. One of the first things to do would be to talk to Maggie and start asking around to see if there are any volunteers and like yeah, is doing stuff like that. And let's make sure we understand what their effective levels are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Make sure we aren't bringing them in just to you know yeah yeah no that's a that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Cool. Annabelle would probably be fine. Uh, so. But anyone else? Well, just one more level. He could help figure that out. Uh, oh well. Let's oh. see. I mean, why would they keep that from us? Is the thing they'd probably be level with us if they were you there? What's yeah. your power level? <laughs> um, my power level is about thirty thousand. That's pretty big. Yeah. Alex, I have a question for you. I have a bottle of wither broth poison, and I did not write down whether what kind of uh, if it was inhaled ingested contact. Would you mind double checking for me because I do not remember? Okay, uh, I got to. Yeah, might be a little bit off the top. No of my worries. Head. I yeah, yeah, I just I, I I just saw that and I'm like, ah, this might be useful to know what I can apply this with because this is a powerful poison. Yep. Uh, da, da, da. Remind me how much damage it does. That might help me narrow it. Uh, 4d6 plus 4 poison damage. Uh, I believe that is an ingested poison. Thank you. I figure I shouldn't want to assume. Cool. <laughs> All right. You head outside. Uh, uh, you pretty quickly find Maggie over by the training grounds. I'll let Momo be in the scene for convenience since Momo otherwise has been not mm. in the scene so far. <laughs> yeah, Momo has not been around. Mm-hmm. Momo's uh, currently in the library. Okay. Well, that's not where anyone else is going, so great. <laughs> anyway, uh, as, as you're all heading outside, you notice that it's pretty unseasonably hot. Like, not scorching, but... It's the middle of winter, and it's, like, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like Florida. Just like That's Florida. very good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, training ground is pretty quiet. Maggie is just there, uh, smoking on a pipe. Looks up when she sees you. Mm. I don't want to say I thought Annabelle was crazy, because she did it before, but I didn't think she'd be able to bring back five of you. Look at my new facial scars. Holy shit, that oh, is a right. staple in... I don't, sorry, not in your eyeball, but really damn close. It's it's so close, I can... It, 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 you know what? You know what's extremely freaky? Every time I blink, that eye doesn't fully close. Yeah, I, I kind of hate it. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I ate it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sucked. <laughs> Must have been a hell of a storm. That um, it was. Lucky it lasted long enough to get to get all of you. Luck isn't really on our side these days, though, considering, you know, obviously, I'm sure Annabelle filled you in. What she doesn't know is that there are scouting parties from basically every major city-state on the continent. Heard some shit's going down here, wanted to see what happens to you disasters. We're so popular. That's the word for right. it. Notorious would be more appropriate. Hmm. And this thing, though. These people hate each other. None of them have made a move yet. Guess they're all waiting to see what we do. Yeah, about that. Yeah, that's what we're here to talk about. I assume it's not a good plan. It's (laughs) the best we've come up with, given the circumstances. The two are not mutually exclusive. (laughs) They are not in the slightest. It's probably the best plan for everyone other than us. Yeah. I can work with that. Mm. Right. Um, the working... We're... Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the cliff notes. Um, so we're gonna leave. <laughs> we're gonna... We're going to go jump straight to kill the BBEG, and we're going to let everybody here peacefully surrender so they don't die. Maggie slowly nods. To clarify, (laughs) Corellian raises the claw and pipes in. To clarify, the idea is we're we're the ones who the elves want the most and probably who the other city states want the most um doesn't matter how it's said we can either be dead who knows if you know people think we're alive or you can say that we deserted which wouldn't be out of character but our plan is that we make a run for it to take the heat off of baton rants and allow all of you all to not have to do any of this anymore yeah we kind of reached the poisoning of the fields uh, really, really fucked us over. And while we made a valiant first attempt, I don't think we can do, we can keep doing this. It's going to just be an unnecessary loss of life and resources. Smart thinking, she says, uh, dabbing away at some sweat with a little towel she got. Eat off a bat and rants would be good in more ways than one. Yeah, yeah speaking of, um, I mean, feels good to me, but uh, what's with the weather? Hell, if I know, none. Uh, I don't exactly talk with any diviners, but I don't think they would have predicted, oh, you know, sudden heat wave in the middle of winter. Mm-hmm. Out of character, uh, would Momo know about what would be happening with the weather? Can I roll for something? Uh, make a make a nature check, Momo. Because I'm sure that he's been outside since, but like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nature, nature. You're doing I fine, Momo. You idea. just want to sit inside and read some more. <laughs> Man, it's too hot. I'm going inside. Um... Yeah, no. <laughs> um... I, I guess the only other thing that uh, I'd want to that we'd want to bring up would be um, we are heading straight for the lair of the mind flare. Um, if you could spread the word, um, if anyone wants to volunteer, then they're free to join us. If not, then by all means, please stay here. <laughs> Maggie nods again. I'm just going to hope there's enough people whose morale or bodies haven't been broken enough to take you up on the offer. And she's interrupted as there's this, like, really bright light in the sky. Like, everyone, everyone at the hall, probably also everyone around the hall notices it. It is 
really bright, like a huge flaming star in yeah. the sky in the distance. Oh, okay, ah. my eyes my eyes are still dilated ah. from the resurrection. It's too bright. Can't look. Uh, what direction? Um, <laughs> that, that, uh, let me double check. From the west, looks like it's getting closer. Oh, oh. God. The gods are finally coming to claim me for my what? insults. Fuck. From the west, that could be any number of things. Um, Sun God. doesn't come from over there. And then... No, it does not. There is a roar. Oh, God. Oh. What do you oh. mean? <laughs> Did the roar not play for you? <laughs> no, it played, no, it played, it played, it played. It played, and I shit myself, but it played. Yeah, okay. Cool, just um. establishing. Soilage has happened. I did not hear it. What was the sound? I'll play it was a like dragon. a roll. <laughs> with, with the eyes of the eagle, can I make out what this is? Uh, sure you can. Uh, make a perception check to stare into the blinding light. All right, I get advantage. The Were there dragons to the west we didn't know about? All right. When I killed him. <laughs> so, you stare off to the west. And in the center of that light, there is indeed this, like, burning, glowing, huge black dragon. Not black dragon, red dragon. I don't know how I messed that up. With all sorts of black crystalline protrusions on its body, bone all over it. No. And as the no. roar echoes, Maggie's eye, Maggie's one good eye just goes wide. Oh, oh no! Gotta, that's a dragon. Are you kidding me? Wait, Get someone's down. head. Mother's oh, Mackie. Wait, that's Dragatha. No, Dragatha. That Dragatha. can't be Dragatha. Wait, that can't be wait Dragatha. No. Dragatha. Dragatha's body's in the east. Where's that one coming from? They moved the body. Get down! <laughs> they did move the body. Oh, oh my god, they the moved body. the body. Oh my god, they <laughs> moved the body. Malathine gets down. Yeah. I'm assuming everyone gets down. Oh yeah. yeah. As hellfire yeah. and acid rain down upon Batonrance Hall. No! How does acid rain down upon Batonrance? Good question. Character. Oh, that's how it gets set on fire. Mm. <laughs> oh, scam is like, oh, you fucking loser! You, you're like an ex who just couldn't stop from coming back, motherfucker! God, all right, fuck. I like. I'll raise my shield up and, like, beckon anyone to, like, try and squish under it with me. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna scramble. Uh, scramble spelled S-K-A-R. Um, yeah. Or, sorry, scra- scra- fuck up, never mind. The joke is there. But, yeah, um, what the fuck, what the fuck? Yeah, eventually the roar of the fire stops and, like, Everything around you is burning. Buildings are crackling and starting to fall apart from the sheer heat and blaze. There's screaming. There is so much screaming. I'd be more concerned if there wasn't any screaming. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Momo, you're in the library and the windows are just shattering around you from the heat as fire starts to like lick at the sides of the building. Uh, Momo fucking, like, screams and runs out and tries to go find where the babies are. Um, yeah. yeah, good priorities. I'm sorry, but my first immediate thought was, like, Momo's in the middle of the library reading a book about a dragon, and then the fucking dragon roar happens, like, Momo's like, wow, this book is so immersive. And then it happens again, and they realize, oh shit, that's a dragon. Like, Love the, oh. love the Momo impression you have there, the perfect, spot Thank on. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, yeah, yeah he, let's let's he probably just uh, <laughs> yes. bursts out of that library to try and find the kids. All right, humor me for a moment. Can we see if the elves and if they are, if we can, what the fuck are they doing? Uh, I'll say you're close enough to a wall that, as part of the wall, just collapses in on itself. You see through the fire a whole bunch of smoldering. Elf bodies, a couple of them actively blazing, yeah. running around screaming. Some of them are just like melting away down to the skeleton oh. and beyond. Oh god! Oh, I, eh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Right. Um. 
if there's any siege weaponry left, uh, we need to get on the siege weaponry and at least get something going on. Otherwise, we need to try yeah. and fucking fight Dragatha. Yeah. I you mean, want to take down a dragon. Okay, the fuck <laughs> else are we going to do? We're all fully rested, and uh, it's we on our ass. Wait. How? We cannot outrun a dragon. By the I, way, I, point I, of no. order. No, no, point of order. I am the only one here of all of you who actually lived that. I have seen what trying to run away solves, and the answer is nothing. You oh, Maggie, who also survived this. a Dragoth encounter, is in the fetal position on the ground. Points at Maggie. Yeah, okay. There's no evacuating this. That thing is a big old flying engine of death. If we run away, it's a target for it. People are better off hiding out of sight, out underneath the. Fu- get them in the fucking cellars. Get them underground. It's and gonna get them be. In the filters. That's what we'll do then. Then you start doing that. I'm right. gonna start blasting. Yeah, Momo, you uh, fly over to the rest of the group. Baby, safely in hand. Oh, thank God! What the hell is happening? I'm glad to see that the chicken nuggets have not become chicken nuggets. Momo, good to see you here. Dragon. 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 Dra- dra- Dragatha. Dragatha. Dragon. Yeah. You know how we're playing Dungeons and Dragon? This is the dragon. Scam, you taste copper. Oh, it all makes sense uh, now. I've been in the middle of my... First time, yeah, that's yeah. a dragon. We need to get the people in the dungeon. So yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Right. Okay. Scam's right. Okay. We have to stay in fight. If we run, Dragatha's just going to stay here. Yep. He doesn't fucking care. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Plus, if we're we're gonna gonna go out, you know what? Honestly speaking, if we're gonna go out, I'd rather be going out fighting a dragon than a mind flare right now. So, yeah, let's just kill this and then think about the implications thereafter. Also, maybe killing Dragatha will get us out of some hot water with the rest of the world. (laughs) First things first, whoever we can get to safety, let's do that now. Malphine, Malphine, you come with me. Go with, yeah, go with one more. Go. All right. That's good. Uh, for the sake of expediency, you all quickly run about gathering whatever survivors you can still find and ushering them into the cellars where it's less likely to, you know, burn down around them. You can hear more screaming and dragons screeching off in the distance. More blasts of fire off in the distance as clearly he's found other targets. As the hall continues to rage in flames, you all start to get towards the cellar. There's crackling and then some of the roof starts collapsing down. But then, boom, this giant hand made of solid rock bursts out from the ground, holding up the beams. I beg your pardon? Yeah. I'm sorry? And you look around, also thinking, what the fuck? Uh, Wreathed in flames, a little bit on fire himself, is Prince Zordan of the (laughs) Orient standing in the hall. Prince Zordan! Fuck. Should we be... Should we be happy or afraid that he's here? I'm happy! Happy! I cannot hold this up forever, he yells. Okay, oh. happy, I guess. Okay. Hey, um, what's up, dude? The fuck are you doing here? I heard that you were going to die. Apparently, the rumors were greatly exaggerated, but I do not want these other innocents to die, so could you hurry up and save them? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do that. Then we're Thank gonna you. Talk about our Thank you so much. Okay, cool. Uh, let's fucking start killing the dragon, I guess. Wait, is Rihanna in the group? Is she still alive? Rihanna is with you. She retreated immediately when the fire started happening and is huddled up in the oh, deepest corner god. she can find. Oh, thank god. Right. It is time to kill dragon. It is time to kill uh, dragon, y'all. Oh. All right. Uh, let's go out with greatness. You gear up. Prince Ordan looks after you. Good luck out there. I don't want them to die, but I have no particular fondness for you. Yeah, if we survive, <laughs> we gotta talk about what actually happened that one day. No time. No fun up for that now, but like, hey. Thank you for taking care that. of them. Yeah, okay. Thank you for helping. Thank you for coming back. Zordan says nothing. As you all head out, the gatehouse of Battenrance Hall has been broken down completely in the heat as you march on what remains of the battlefield outside. 
Buildings have splintered, fallen on themselves. Very little is standing. Uh, there's a whole lot of evidence of, like, fallen bodies or otherwise huge retreating forces. And, and walking through it all, off to face a dragon that it took armies to defeat, are the five of you. As I go... The clockwork I- heroes. <laughs> clockwork so anti-heroes. I, I, I'm is. really, I'm really, I'm really fond of the Revengers. Just so we're clear, Scam apparently are already dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I'm fucking deceased. For some reason, my token says yeah. Oh no, now it's there. You there you go. Go. I can't see go. the number on Rackable's hit points. Me neither. It's, it's 115. It's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, hold on. I can, I can work on that. Uh, yeah. okay. Well, I can't see it on your hit points, Scott. On a scale of 100. <laughs> How are you feeling? All right. Um, Can I just say as well, when Zordan appeared, Rax was just like, don't ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> Good. He, he's learning. He's learning. He's learning. He's learning. And we're Rax is like, there's some bullshit going on. He's not going to stop. Why am I? <laughs> he's just like, what the fuck did I sign up for? All right. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? what? No, no, what? Okay. no. Sorry, just gears in head. Not nothing yet, but gears All in right. head. So, okay. Re rolling. Uh, not quite yet. I still need to do some narration for Dragoth that I actually touched down. Yes. Oh, sure. right. <laughs> the, right. He has to monologue, Queen. He has to monologue. There's a monologue. <laughs> there are rules to being a villain here, Queen. <laughs> There's dramatic Sorry. speeches! I didn't assume we could speak! <laughs> the dragon! They can all He's speak. He's a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, the five of you march out of the hall, weapons in hand, staring down this burning figure, and Dragatha takes notice and touches down. I must say... I'm rather disappointed. So sad to see Erion has not evolved since last I left it. If anything, it has degraded. Where once the greatest of men stood to fight, now there is only you. What up, you big bitch? Remember me? (laughs) Ah, yes, a goblin. No wonder it has an overinflated sense of self-importance. Let me assure you, he says, unfurling his wings. You burn just like everyone else. Yeah, that's why it's going to be so funny when I kill you. So remember that. Oh, boy. I think you'll be the one to burn this time. I think you just destroyed him with that. Um, Is it initiative time, Alex? It's initiative it's time. initiative time. Oh, boy. Oh man! Oh, you guys, <laughs> we're finally rolling decent initiative. We're all a good nice. baby. <laughs> all right, let's let's try. Scam likely the hero of the hour rolls his initiative and rolls not the worst I've ever. Okay, not, bad. Hey, that's not, bad. not, bad. not fucking bad that's in the good. slightest. Damn, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is probably the best initiative roll we've had. Uh, what's your total dexterity? Skim? Uh, um, it's a uh, 15. Cool. Just for tiebreaker purposes. Yeah, yeah I was uh, also about to say, like, I'm not petty enough to use a flash of genius to make that even higher because I'm going to save those. But, like, can you imagine if I had a fucking 24 initiative? God. All right. Also, Rax, you can still fly with my boots, so make sure you, I can. you capitalize on that. <laughs> cool. It is Malifane's turn first. All right, I have planned, but first, uh, Malifane's going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, is going to run over and uh, take an, take uh, two of his arrows and fire them straight at Dragatha. So, yes, okay. Let's see what his armor uh, class is. I think, yeah. 22 hits. Nice. nice. Okay, that has sneak attack damage. 
Wait, no, it doesn't. No, hang on. No, that's just for melee. Never mind. Right. <laughs> I forgot how it worked for a moment. Oh well. So that's 10 damage. Um, and then Malifane is going to actually uh, dive into the water and hide. So... <laughs> no, no, no. Give it a moment. No, no, just the <clears throat> image of him diving in. It's just really funny. <laughs> I like to picture a belly flop. Belly flop. <laughs> okay, nice. That's a, that's a really good roll, actually. Even, uh, even with <laughs> Jagatha's Insane perception score. Ooh. Ooh. Look! Okay. Look at that plus sixteen. Plus sixteen. Plus sixteen. Plus 16. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. He's a fucking dragon. What do you expect? Dude, he'd have had to roll a crit to see you. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. It is Scam's turn. Okay. Uh. Pause it to the group. <laughs> what do we want? Uh, the occasional extra boost of at most. Um, oh, math hurts head. The extra boost of at most 13 temporary hit points to everybody. Well, to people with intensity to me sometimes. Or should I just go for damaging Dragatha? Because I'm either going to make my force ballista to shoot at him with constantly for, for 3d8 damage. Or I can make my protector, and which has a bonus action. Anyone within um, 10 feet of it can gain a d8 plus 5 temp hit points. I think um, we need to focus mainly on our hit points right now because we didn't really do a good job of that last time, and that was our undoing. <laughs> the the so, hit points would be a good idea since that would automatically bring people alive. out. Stay alive. Correct. Very yeah. much correct. Yes. Yeah, so uh, my be, my biggest concern. I'm gonna. That's why I brought it up. Is because since this is presumably an oh well, he looks to be only what huge. Ah, oh, he's only an adult dragon. It's fine. Um, he is gargantuan. Uh, Oh, it looked like three for me. Okay, so he's an ancient. Never mind. I'm still, I'm still quite afraid. Oh, uh, he's oh an ancient God. red dragon. Got it. Um, if he's an ancient red dragon, my biggest concern is that he will. I can only do that as a bonus action. Then he will be able to override them constantly. But if nothing else, it's a good extra to have for just getting people out of a funk spot. So yeah, yeah. I only, I only get, I only get the one. So if I, if I choose protector, I cannot do a ballista uh, cannon. At all, so we'll I won't be, be getting the that's, the boon. Okay, that's fine. Just focus. All right, then I will. Oh, you think ballista is the way to go, or protector? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, okay, good. Then, I, then it is. I was gonna say, what are yeah. you doing, Atlas? There you go. <laughs> all right, then I will assemble my eldritch cannon as my action. Um, that's so long. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was gonna be that long. Okay, <laughs> Behold never the mind. artificial block of text. <laughs> Behold the artificer! I made it. It's there. I did it. Okay. All right. So that's my action. Bonus action. I will go ahead and uh, move over. Um, I actually want uh, five. See, I want to get. See, I'm, I can either get Corellian, and wait, no, I can get. If I move there, I can get everybody. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll, I'll run down there, I hastily throwing together this shit scam picked up from the ruins of the Baton Rans on the way here, assembling my protector backpack with the retracted uh, spider legs in it if I ever wanted to mobilize, get over there, and I'll just kind of like slap my stopwatch, where I, which I've wired it up to, and just give it a burst of um, steroids that everybody now gets. Uh, I will roll. Um... Is a D8 plus five, so everyone gets 13 hit points. Temporary Ooh, hit points. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, well, not everyone, not Malifane, but yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Sorry. Malifane's well, fine. yeah, you're more than 10 feet away. Yeah, but Malifane's fine. Okay, I used five, 10, 15 to get there. 20, 25, 30. I'll back the fuck up, and. Uh, that is my whole turn. All yeah, because right. I don't have anything else I want to do right now. So, yep, that's it. Cool. It is now Momo's turn. Okay, Momo is going... That's not the right tool. He's going to go right here. And about 30 feet in front of him, 
he's going to cast Guardian of Faith. Oh? A large spectral guardian appears and hovers over the duration of an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. The guardian, uh, any, any hostile creature that steps within 10 feet of it will need to make a, uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 20 radiant damage on a failed save. Half as much damage on a successful one. Is that eight hours? Yeah. Uh, it's not even it's 60 damage. It vanishes when it's, yeah, Dan, yeah. it vanishes when it's dealt a total, total of 60 damage. Yeah, okay, cool. And can you, are you able to move it or is it just stationary for the entire fight there? Stationary, looks like. Okay, so let's yeah. see if we can bait Dragatha into that space at some point, because that's a nice little way to get some damage on him. Yeah. Right. Oh, I mean, he's a red dragon. How hard is it to bait a red dragon into doing something stupid by appealing to their fucking vanity or rage? I mean, like, let's be honest. All right. Neat. Cool. Uh, Krellian is going to dart forward 30 feet, uh, take a deep breath, and dunk under the fucking water. Uh, basically what they're trying to do is in case any fire happens, they want to be underwater for like a little additional protection, if that makes sense. Ha! Uh -huh. I should have run towards the water. My yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. Alright. And uh, that'll be my turn. Cool. Alright. Oh, he goes before me. <laughs> so his breath recharges. Oh, right. oh wait. No. Oh. He recharge if he never even used it. Oh, he wait. He did he use used it. it. That was the bright <laughs> white light. He was prologue. doing a lot of breathing. You know, the prologue. <laughs> the prologue. The beginning uh, of the end. So, I'm going to do some measuring real quick. Real, sure. real quick. <laughs> All right, Jagatha is flaps his wings, takes to the air a little bit, flies closer, and now let's see. Da, 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 no ruler tool, ruler tool, please. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm I'm right on the edge of that. I'm right in the, at the very tip of that, aren't I? You are, in fact, right yeah. at the edge, as. Dragatha inhales, sparks emerge from the from his mouth, the crystals embedded in his back glow. And then he just belches out this massive cone of flame. Uh, okay. So, so... Corellian and Malifane, because you're underwater, you have advantage on the deck saving throw. Everyone else, good luck. I can't pass that. I also can't pass that. Wait, uh, wait. I mean, you, 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 I, I'm gonna give one of you a plus, a plus five. No doubt. Okay, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give Momo my plus five for Flash of Genius, um, because I'm gonna need a natural twenty to succeed at this, but it's fine. I'll do my, I'll do something else. Don't worry about it. Um, so Momo, yeah, I'm gonna use Flash of Genius on you. Uh, oh wait, no. What? Here's my quandary. I can either give Momo Flash of Genius so he saves and takes half, or Scam likely is going to cast Absorb Elements as a reaction to uh, absorb half of that uh, damage because, hmm. Uh, so that is three quarters of Momo's hit points. <laughs> Yes, it is. But I don't want to take 57 damage. Um, <laughs> oh I can't my cast God. Guidance on myself, can I? No. no. Nope. It's, that's guidance an action. Is only for skill checks. Right. Guidance is for yeah. skill checks. Guidance is an action. <laughs> You're thinking okay. of Blast, which is also an action. Or a bonus action is one of those. Uh, by the way, it's not a reaction. Oh, God. I know that mom, it's, it's like a third of was hit. Or it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. I'm debating. I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't know because you are also the healer. So like we could. I could do just a mass cure wounds on my next turn. Also, okay. don't forget you did have the temporary uh, hit points too. I do have the temporary yeah, hit points. Yeah, I've seen back on. So if you haven't used those, uh, also, uh, 13 to your, yeah. 
please hold on to your highest level spell slots so you can cast heal when we're really bad. Yeah, that's the battle. plan. I'm not gonna use good, my I'm not good. gonna use my level six spells until unnecessary. Good, good, until good. Necessary. Okay. Um. I mean, Jojo, what do you want? Do you want less damage or? Uh, I mean, I. Here's the thing. Does I imagine so? But does Dragatha have legendary actions? Oh yes. Of course. Um, <laughs> no, I fuck, think. Fuck. No, I, I fuck think... it. Uh, no, fuck it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you the plus five. So you only took half that. Thanks, man. Because I, I would I would take less damage, but I wouldn't benefit from a casting of Absorb Elements unless I was within melee attack range of Dragatha, okay. which I am not so, going to because then I could deal more damage. So. <laughs> so how many hit points do I have left now? Like, well, go from your max. You had the 13 temp hit points. What's half what's of yeah. 57? I'm not... Why do you hate me? I'm, I'm asking the DM. But okay, half of 57. Also, so half of 58 would be 29. 28, I think. 28. Okay, so it's 28, subtract 13 from that. Um, 15. You would lose 15 hit points. 25. And the. You would lose 15 hit points and the. Um, wait, no. Yes, uh, so. Half of, that, half of that would be. would be. Um, I'm bad at math. You do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, so just remove 15 from 73, and that's your hit points. Cool. Meanwhile, I take the full 57. God, I'm sorry. But it's fine. That's not. That's not the best. Quite <laughs> half. I'm. 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 I'm not quite at half hit points yet. I'm almost at half hit points. Almost. But it's fine. Momo needs to get. You need to get underwater at the next soon as possible moment. Moment. Yes, sir. All right. Because you need yeah, to get the fuck it. away. Yes. Correct. It is now Braxadol's turn. Okay. Uh, um, great. Uh, I will second wind because fuck, that was a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, D10 plus 13. Oh, all right. Could have been better. <laughs> all right, so he does that. I said he does that when I press the right button. <laughs> yeah. And he kind of just like, kind of sort of wipes the burns and all that, smirks a bit, just goes, hmm, really living up to the fairy tales today. And he will cast Blink. Alrighty. Dice gods, I pray to you, dice gods, do not fuck this up today. <laughs> and then, since he's going around there, I'm probably gonna run down here. No, go in the oh. water! All right, I'll go in the water! Alex, <laughs> I just realized... Go in the water! With my Eldritch Cannon, which it does take damage, I need to look up to see if it has, um... I think it, it would just take damage from me, from from being in the range of that spell, I assume, right? Because it has hit points and everything. I believe so, yeah. Okay, I will. I'll do that. I just jump in the water and disappear. <laughs> The water absorbs you. <laughs> it's like right. that little raccoon gif where he dips this white thing in the water and it's just gone. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have to roll the check for it. Let's see if it succeeded. It did not. All right, I'll give it a full 57. Which means, it, which means my cannon has three hit points left. Oh! So I need to make sure I don't take a... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. God, you right. cannot take another... Blow up that. Yeah. It is now Malifane's turn. Right. Malifane's gonna rise up from the water and take two more shots at Dragatha. It's a pretty standard tactic, but honestly, it works. Alright. Uh, that's an advantage, baby. Oh, oh nice! Oh, nice. oh, oh yeah. both of them wow. hit. Alright. Now that first one applies sneak attack damage. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> 41 damage. Oh Solid. And then just normal damage on the second one. Okay, not bad. Alright, so 
total of 48 damage from that assault. <gasps> Wait, Alex. No way. Alex, I'm so sorry. I forgot about something. Hold on. Okay. I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I wanna. Oh, I forgot that I had the Hellfire Stone. What? What do you mean? Which allows me to just. I think it absorbs up to 100 points of fire damage when I'm hit with it. Bro, no way. Bro. Use it. Bro. Yes. Yeah, use I mean, it. I believe. Oh, no, sorry, not the Hellfire Stone. I'm gonna say the Enchanted Bone Trinket. That absorbs 100 fire damage and then is broken forever. Uh, I think, it, I think it just, I think, I think it just, yeah, I think I would just, ha I would absolutely use that. I'll absolutely use that if that's the thing that I could ad hoc say that I, because I have, I forgot I had that. Sure. Like, Wait, so I can... shouldn't you save it for a more powerful attack, though? No, that is no! a dragon a powerful attack attack. I, look, I'm no expert on ancient dragons, but I get the strangest feeling that might okay. be his most powerful attack. I am going, because I am holding it, Alex, can I say that it also absorbed some of the damage that went to my protector since that's on me so i can take a total of i will um 57 plus 57 so i can only so it would have only taken um 14 points of damage instead of 57 so i so it's not that damaged could i say that yeah. yes you hold the bone trinket aloft as fire envelops you it starts taking in the majority of the heat and then it cracks, splinters, and bursts into this tiny flame that is extinguished. Then Scam Likely is at full hit points. All right. Excellent! Nice. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for letting me do that, Alex. I'm so sorry. Okay. For, I forgot about that. So, it's back to oh, Malifane after having shot Dragatha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moving right along. Um, yeah, I, I know that I'm probably not going to be able to hide again like successfully make another stealth check, but I'm going to try again anyway. Fuck it. Um, uh, let's see, water reduces movement, though, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's good. All right. Um, and then dives back down, so still. Eh. Ooh, just all right. barely. Dragatha just turns to you, staring at you all the way down. He growls. <sighs> ah. Trickery. I have dealt with thieves before. They all turn to it for one purpose. I wonder what was stolen from you, little thief, to make you run and hide so. Scam. Cool. Question about this stuff over here. Are these potential as like avenues of cover? Uh, barely, like half cover at most. Okay. Um. Even this is like half cover? Even that's half cover. Yeah, these are crumbling battlements. Nothing here is going to remain stable enough to be full cover. Oh, well. Move here. I'll, I'll still take the uh, the um, the half cover. Bonus action. Gonna. I'll activate my um, my protector again to give Momo more hit points and myself more temporary hit points since those got wiped the fuck out. Yeah. Momo and I have get. Oh, thirteen back again. Nice. Oh, nice. That worked nice. out great. That worked out great. <laughs> to suck a dragon. All right, and then from here over here. All right, that, that was going to do my bonus action, my movement. Um, I will, as my action, I'm going to cast a spell. But the question is, the spell that I cast, what shall it be? Um, obviously, all of my um, fire-based spells are not going to be used here. Um, so what I will do is... Um, I want to cast. Fuck it. I, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll throw out a um, a third level casting of Chaos Bolt on Dragatha. That was the thing I fucked up plenty of its followers with, so why not? I think it hurts, huh? 
Wow, that was a 12. A fucking 12 hit. Hit. I, I don't think that is going to uh, 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 do it. No, um, no, it doesn't come close. <laughs> uh, also, that seems. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, not even a not even a flash of genius would help that. I bet. So I'm gonna just call that a net loss. And yeah. then, since I'm angry about that, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my um uh 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 reaction to use my infuse spell storing ring to uh, get that third level spell slot immediately back because that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Net zero, baby. <laughs> Okay, this was that sucked. I'm the I like duck under. You can <laughs> press up against the half cover. All right, Momo. <sighs> Brief. <laughs> I can't. My chest is so tight. Um, I obviously I'm going to use my movement and dash into the water, and I'm gonna go about right here meow and then <laughs> as my action I <sighs> wait hold on let me see <coughs> Godspeed Momo I'm gonna try and cast banishment on Dragatha <laughs> oh all right. Oh, it's a Christmas save, it isn't it? It is a Christmas save. Oh, aid. it is a Christmas save. Oh, man. Oh, it's charisma. Yeah, I figured. Oh. Yeah. The dragons have crazy charisma. Yeah, it they is do. kind of terrifying. Yeah. You it's attempt so to send Jagatha back to whatever hellish realm from whence he came. He just laughs off the attempt with his magic resistance and insane saving throws. And then does a double yeah, take. Also Let's all probably oh, no. remember that oh, no, he fucking has, saw me. probably has legendary resistances, which means we should we should try to burn those instead of using our big whammies on him for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Burn those. The, wait, doesn't it have like? Do, does Dragatha have fire resistance? Do we know this? Yes, He's got immunity for the dragon. dragon. He's I, a I, dragon. I, I, was, I figured. I figured. Okay, listen, I knew it was a red dragon, so I figured it must have fire resistance, but I could I could just ask, because I could Immunity, be wrong, because so I'm a lot of, write I'm that wrong about a lot of things, players. so I was just, so just asking, don't yell No fire-based abilities. Yeah. Radiant would work, but not fire-based. So, okay. so as I was trying to say, as <laughs> yeah, turns yeah. to Momo, an Aarakocra. I oh. missed them when I heard they all went down. I miss the sight of hundreds of birds burning, falling to earth. I will enjoy seeing it one it? more time. He he left them, of course. He okay, just making sure. Yeah. Just making sure. Why the sure. fuck do you think it would take him with us? No, I'm, I just wanted to make sure that we established that because I didn't hear Yeah, it. no, they're safe. They're as safe as the they can be. Are safe. Any civilians yeah. who are not you guys are safe. Only you five. Walked out to face Dragatha. Okay, yeah, good. Honestly, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Oh, sorry, I almost choked to death. <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, Ooh. Corellian. Uh, Corellian is going to do is uh, Corellian is going to so five, ten. Then that would be 20, so, sorry, 5, 10, 20, 30. Cool. So Crowley will move, skip onto land, move out here. Uh, they're going to use their action to use the uh, spells, the, the, the sort of uh, stored spells that they have that Scam gave them, which casts in large reduce. So, going to cast that, they're going to embiggen themselves, and then they're going to use... Sorry, pardon, pause, stop, 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 stop. No, uh, they're not going to do that. What they're going to do, instead of enlarge reduce, um, I was stupid and forgot the spell rules, so give me a moment. Instead of that, they're going to use uh, Misty Step as a bonus action to Misty Step onto uh, Dragatha's back. 
Yeah! Ah. Right. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, hold on to that and large reduce. That'll be a surprise tool that'll help us later. But for now, <laughs> uh, we're, we're missing steps up here. And that was the bonus action, which means I still have my action, which means I'm... Um, so... The, 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 the crystals on Dragatha's back um, mentioned that they like lit up when Dragatha did like the fire breath and shit. So it looked like they're particularly important to his physiology. Make an arcana check. Cool. I'm real good at those. I'll give you advantage. How? How? I don't know never how mind. you could do that. Never mind. Never mind. No, I, no, thank you for bringing it up. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, but I, I don't think there's any way you could do that. Big shrug. I just don't want y'all to yell at me anymore. I'm not yelling uh, at you. We're not yelling. It's fine. But uh, either way, uh, Carlin is going to use their action to make a few attacks at some uh, fucking um, crystals and shit. So, yeah. And actually, they're going to use the Colossus of the Winter King because that is a magic weapon. Yeah. 23 hits. Sick. Good to know. Cool. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep that for now. Cool. You, uh, you take a swing at the crystal with your cutlass. It, uh, strikes against it, doesn't appear to do all that much damage, and then you feel Dragatha shifting beneath you. You will kneel, peasant! And he flaps his wings mightily. You're technically within 15 feet of him, Corellian. Yeah, and he wants very you true. to get the fuck off. Understandable. DC 23 deck save. Nice. Jesus. You can do it. No, I can't. <laughs> you literally cannot make that. I literally can't. So that's fine. Uh, 15 and knocked prone. Cool. Uh, let me let me actually roll for it. Yeah, that wasn't auto roll. That was just stat block. Okay. Yeah, twelve. Oh, that's less. Better. 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 Yeah, because it's always a chance I could do less. <laughs> All right. So swiftly after you get on top of Dragatha, boom, you fall over as he just like drops you to the ground, lands beside you, and it is now Dragatha's turn. Now he's a red dragon, and there's someone to smash right in front of him. Plus the breath's not recharged. So Dragatha's gonna go freaking ham. First off, trying to take a bite out of the kobold as like acid drips from his maw. You're not entirely sure how. 13 Arcana, baby. It's like that. He should not have Oh yeah, he should have had advantage. You're prone, so. Yeah. Oh. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. And then he's gonna okay. do uh, some claw attacks on you while you're down there, because he's an insane friggin' dragon. Tight. Oh, for Tight. fuck's sake. So, 18. 10. <laughs> nice. That is the least amount of damage he could have possibly rolled with that second claw attack. Holy shit. Ow. Click. Nice. Yeah. And you just hear oh. this laugh come from Dragatha. Ignorant fools. Is this the best you can possibly do to stand against me? You are craven cowards. I am death! And he just roars into the sky. All right. With the full force of his spooky uh, dragon might. <laughs> As a uh, dirty one. <laughs> Me and never playing like K Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, well, I can't be frightened. Yeah. Sucks for everyone else. Curly can't be frightened. Momo and Malaphane? I'm trying to remember something. Hang on. Uh, okay, it's charm, not say. fear. Okay, never mind. Yeah. This dragon is not trying to charm you. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think so. Oh, that's a, that's a 19 over here. Man! Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, dude! Malifang gives oh, zero now. fucks. 
balls of steel. Holy fuck. It's not like he can see exactly. He's underwater. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. probably got monsters. You just hear this eyes. roaring from up above you and go, What? What? <laughs> what did uh, he say? What? <laughs> did Rax roll? Rax is in the ethereal plane. I'm in the plane. ethereal plane. Oh, that's fucking rad. <laughs> that's fucking tight. Oh, it's rad. oh, cool. So Momo and I are pissing our fucking boots right now. <laughs> Fantastic. Just nothing but syllables. Alright, well we'll get to make that the end of our next turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Alright. I am frightened. Okay, so this is just I'm not gonna do this now, this is just a question for later. If I cast a concentration spell on Dragotha, but then got blipped to the ethereal plane, would the concentration drop? I believe so. Yeah. Right, so I won't do that. Um, okay, so I'll use the 10 feet to just like, get out of the water before I appear. Immaculate, totally dry. Um, and then, I'm close enough, aren't I? All right, uh, well, Probably not gonna work, but worth a try. I shall. It is range spell. I'll cast Chill Touch on him. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you just reach out this ghostly spectral hand, and it just lightly brushes against your gotha. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, so I came from here. Yeah, I'll just eat myself back in the water. Fuck that. <laughs> And I'm gone again. Uh, it's 10 or above? I thought it was 11 or above. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really... It is 11. Fuck, damn it! Now I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked it all. You just grumpily grumble about how wet you are as you dive into the water. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I can move a bit more. I'll go there. <laughs> yeah. Dragatha sniffs the air as you just dive back into the water. Oh no. You are not from Erion. You smell of King's March. I always wondered how beautiful the capital city would look set ablaze. You'll never see it. Malafane. I kind of, I don't care if it does it doesn't do anything. Just to just to kind of add like an extra punch to that, I kind of want to just take the bow and aim for his eyes. Bro, there do is it. no Yo, there is it. no targeted shot ability, but yeah, you can absolutely try and shoot him in the eye. <laughs> that You'll bitch. never see it. Oh, oh my hit. god! And he oh. is technically <laughs> within five feet of an ally that is alive, so that's sneak attack damage, baby. Uh, sneak attack on the first one. Nice. Okay, 25 total. Nice. And then on the second one without sneak attack. Bam. All right, all right. Uh, so as he says, you'll never see it. Mal's just like, you got that right. <laughs> just launches the arrow. Yep. Ah, dun, it's funny. Dun. See, you're making it blind. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dracatha... <laughs> Looks a little bit damaged now, and very, very irritated, staring directly at you. Cool story. I'm gonna dive back down again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it really says something when yes. crit fail is still a 17. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I really did blind him. How about that? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In that case, uh, Dragatha is going to use a legendary action to realize, wait a second, is he taking advantage of this idiot on the ground next to me? Better kill him. Oh. And smack Corellian with his tail. Oh. Oh, oh no. I... <laughs> uh... Nice. I'm nah. still alive. Yeah. Yeah, He's still yeah. alive! What Girl a is legend! Still alive. What a legend! What a freaking Chad. What a pro. 
Corellian is the D&D <laughs> equivalent of everything that is Chad. You're not book, wrong. <laughs> there is a portrait of Corellian, the Chad of D&D. Fucking biggest jawline here, yeah. <laughs> he literally does, though! He has the most defined and longest jawline. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> All right. Scam. Okay. Scam screaming his fucking pants off, <laughs> strafes to the left and dives headfirst into the water. Um, I can't get closer to him, so I'll at least strafe on the edge of it. And then kind of like in the water, like, <laughs> just like, I'm going to like grab my wand. I'm not even fucking looking at Dragatha. I'm just blind with getting shit around. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to cast, because uh, it does not require sight. Um, I'm going to ca- uh, yeah, I- I'm just gonna cast catapult at third level, just to like you know grab out my shit, wave one, find like a big old fucking fuck you rock from the nearby vicinity, and just hey, and just have it throw across the battlefield from me to slam into Dragatha. Uh, so I'll cast that at third level. Um, and Dragatha needs to make a deck save. Okay. Uh, he does have. Magic resistance because fuck you, ancient yep. dragon. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, still, still good to know what he has for that then. Yeah. Plus yep. nine. Ah, that's that's fun. Right, we have fun here at an arena mix. Yeah, fun here. Um, so is that half damage or no damage? Uh, no. It just means that he dodges the big fucking rock that goes flying by, and it just continues going until it like it. Um. Uh. Until like it it goes like ninety feet and then just falls. So yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't do any damage to him. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh. Then as my bonus action, I am going to, um, because I am deeply afeared, um, I'm going to use my, uh, where my bonus action tab go? There it is. I'm going to use my nimble escape to hide. I have disadvantage on stealth rolls, so give me one second so I can program that, but I feel like I had to do something. Um, yeah, for sure. So this will be with uh, disadvantage, stealth baby. Yeah, okay, not the worst. Not, not the, the worst. worst I could roll. But, but still. Yeah, I know. He knows I'm there. Yeah! <laughs> his perception's plus 16. Yeah, likely is screaming his fucking head off, like... Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's not right. All right. Uh, so, I mean, that's my entire turn, then. Yeah. So, currently, uh, Dragatha is the most pissed off at Malifane, so he's going to use a legendary action to try and detect Malifane again. That's fair. Nope. Nope. He needs to roll pretty damn high to get that, and he's not doing it quite yet. <laughs> In the meantime, Momo, you're frightened. <laughs> uh, yeah, squawk like a chicken, you little bird. I'm going to cast <laughs> Healing Word on on Corellian, obviously. And would you allow me to cast it at second level instead of first level? You can, can you in fact, do upcast. That? Yeah. Oh, I can? Okay. Yeah. 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 Straight up, it's allowed... That's a rule in the game that exists. And can I do it at level three? Whatever level yeah. you want. <laughs> Whatever level you want, just not six, because I want you to hold on to. Well, that's a number. That's <laughs> that's a number. I mean, it's a bonus action. It's never going to be high. It's a D four based. Oh wait, D4 that's D4 a bonus based. action. Yeah. 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 <laughs> word is a bonus in action. In that case, I'm going to use You're... guidance to try Remember, and raise that a little bit. You can't. Well, yeah, it's, it, uh, it's guidance only oh. works on ability checks. Guidance only works on ability checks. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay. uh, when you spell. have a bonus action spell, uh, you can only, if you want to cast another spell, it has to be a cantrip. That's an it action. has to be a cantrip. Okay, in that case, then I'll actually be of use of myself and I'll cast Toll the Dead on. Dragatha. And why not, right? Why not? Oh! oh my God! Holy no shit! Oh, 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 oh. I hit it! I hit the dragon! I hurt it! I did it! I did it! It sucks that he takes the lesser my... amount, but still. I'll be nice I and take the greater amount! No, I mean, it's. 
he the way when if when it, when you fail it and you've already taken damage, you take the D12 roll. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that means you would yeah you roll D12s when you when you when, uh, verse uh, if they if All they. All right, um, I guess I'm giving him three additional hit points. Dude. Back. It's yeah. like oh, that. It is on most unfortunate. Yeah. So, so how much damage did take? Uh, thirteen. Oh wait a second. What? Bong! This bell rings out, and Jugatha looks a little bit hurt, but then he laughs. Death has already claimed me, child. I oh, am shit. stronger. Jugatha resists necrotic damage. Oh, good cool. to know. Yeah. You are good fighting a Draco Lich. <laughs> oh, that's Fantastic. infinitely worse. <laughs> okay, I thought this was an ancient red dragon. It's a Draco Lich? Okay, hey, um, Alex Beckham, two things real quick. Number one, I forgot to roll my wisdom tape for Frightened at um, the end of my last turn. Can I do that right now? Go for it. Cool. Uh, second thing is go fuck yourself. Understandable, have a good day. <laughs> also, also, <laughs> can Momo also roll a wisdom save then since it's the end of his turn? It is, yep. in fact, yeah. the end of Momo's turn. Go for it, Momo. Nope. Damn it. Still spooky. <laughs> Still spooky. Still spooked. In that case, I'll be my turn then. Run! Corellian! Corellian hauls themselves with their fucking feet. And with a bonus action, they do a vow of enmity on Dragatha, which means they have advantage. So... They're gonna use their fucking action since they're within range to just, uh, yeah, gonna not, try and go ham. We'll see if that works. Oh, please it. Excellent. Love that. So, you're not healing yourself? What? You're not healing yourself? It's Why nice. the fuck would I do that? Listen. Ugh. At the Good. most I could do, it would still probably nuke me in one round is the thing. Don't you have your full pool of Lay on Hands? I do, but I'm far more okay. effective doing damage. Yeah. You're gonna die next round, but okay, man, do what you want to do. He's... No, I believe! Okay. Uh, also, yeah, curling stands up for being prone since it's the thing I can do for last movement. So that's one, and that's two, and we are going to do some smiting on that. We are going to do... Oh, good. Uh, oh. Da, 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 da. We're going to do a... Let me look at my spell slot right. real quick and, you know, do some... First level, so uh, we're gonna do a first level, and we'll do a second level. So we're gonna do a two d eight and three d eight. Cool. Nice. Good. That's another delicious twenty five damage. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, you know. Nope, I would take an attack of opportunity, so fuck it. Might as well stay right here. Alright. Dragatha's gonna use the last legendary action to see if he can once again see Malifane. Oh, you yeah, that'll do. Can you just that'll do <laughs> Alright. That checks out. So, <laughs> Dragatha snarls, uh, stares down at Corellian. Out of the way, peasant! And rakes down a claw. I forgot advantage. I don't think it particularly matters. It's still a hit. Yeah, just... uh, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not prone anymore. I did stand up. I just didn't put my dick in. But like, whatever. <laughs> uh, K is unconscious. Okay. So right. prone once more. Hey, hey! Down you go. I already rolled a claw, so I'm not gonna have him do the breath shit again. <laughs> As Jagatha oh, yeah. flies out over the water. Oh, wait, but he's in my Guardian of Faith. That he is. Uh, wait, wait, I, I, I'm sorry. Really, really, really quick question. Uh, piece of Dracolich, uh, is he undead technically? Technically, yes. So the, the Radiant would do uh, double damage technically? Not, not all, not all, un, not on every undead. Yeah, is, it's not um, every undead. Okay, got it. Just, yeah. just asking. Yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, but only certain is... undead are vulnerable. Mm. But he is undead. Yes. Okay, Daddy. good to know. Fantastic to know, in fact. I'm very, I'm very happy about this information. <laughs> very, very happy okay. indeed. All right. Okay. Uh, Dragatha is then going to dip his head below the water and bite at Malifane. Oh. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> yeah, bite his legs off. <laughs> Why would gonna you encourage him? dodge that. Cool. And then he's going to use the last claw attack also on Malifane. All right. All right, so that's 11 plus... Uh, 11 plus 8 plus 3, 22 total. Just 22. Okay, that's fine. All right. It is now Rax's turn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get out the water. That's my movement. Um... Just to do some damage on this guy, I'll try magic missile. <laughs> just a little bit. I mean, it just works, you know? It just, it just works. It, it just, just works. works. <laughs> there, 11 damage. 11 damage. As plink, 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 magic missiles hit the side <laughs> of this gigantic freaking beast. And, yeah. uh... Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm not done. <laughs> Alright, do the rest of your turn then. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use Action Surge to nice. keep fucking moving. Because <laughs> I don't want to be in this line of sight here. <laughs> Get action that. Surge can't be used for movement, can it? It can if the action is taken to dash. Oh, it's for dashing. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gotcha, that's gotcha, cool. Gotcha. And then... D20. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All righty. In that case... Uh, it is now Malifane's turn. So I'm really trying to decide how to go about this, because on the one hand, he's clearly going for Malifane. On the other hand, Momo's directly in line of sight, and I don't want that. To, I don't want anything to come of that. So... Um, I'm debating whether using to using an action to attack or ready. Made, made, made the brain cancel a suggestion? Sure. If he's, going to, if he's going for Malphane, then if Malphane moved so that Momo was, you know, out of a cone of fire breath or whatever, and kept causing Dragatha, say, move towards the, where the spirit guardians are, like, that could be an option, and he wouldn't necessarily have to take an action to do oh, that. You're a little that. underwater for me. Yeah, yeah you're, you're underwater, underwater, Atlas. <laughs> Working now? Uh, still kind of underwater. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, is it a Discord setting? Like, is there some weird like filtration thing that suddenly turned itself on? Nothing. Um. Uh, uh let me let me type it. Okay. okay. Sure. All right. So, how's everybody doing? I hate Fire. this. Patently hate Gucci. this. Megan, oh, it's dragon time. It's dragon time. Okay. Would it be a pr more appropriate then to use a goading attack, or...? Whatever you think will keep Dragatha's attention on you, if that's what you want. Goading attack it is! Okay, then. <clears throat> Alright, so... Uh, let's see... Uh... Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use an action to... Well, use my bonus action to dash in the water, because of science. So, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. All right, you will take an attack of opportunity. Wait, what? But he has like, a 10-foot reach. He has a 10-foot oh, reach. Oh, or possibly wider. Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me... He's got a 15-foot reach with bite. Oh, oh so then, then just, then just go then just go over, like here, you know, like fucking like Spirit Guardian, and you won't be out of his range. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Yeah, you'll be leaving his range if you do that. Pat. You're still leaving your his range yeah, if you do that, go. Scott. No, there we go. No, you're gonna take an attack of opportunity if you go that way. Oh, oh there's literally no way to do this then. Yes, there is. If you literally just straight go in a shot straight line over to the oh, okay. over to the guardian I see. I see. If you like literally I'm, just I'm do fine. this, yeah, you're I'm fine. Yeah, they got you. Okay. Um and then I will fire again, fire once more at him. Uh using goading arrow. So or you know what I mean, goading attack. Mm -hmm. So hoping that one of these hits. 26 yes, hits. All right, so using goading attack. Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> the saving throw. All right. So this is not a magical attack, but he does have real good wisdom. Faith. I forgot about that. That was not smart. Magical. Oh. oh. Alternatively. Wait, is that just what's barely a miss? Uh, it's an 18. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> nice! Because he has yeah. max dexterity. <laughs> That's you awesome. Did you did right. it! So, sneak attack damage and the superiority die in play. Yoink! Alright, I'll take that. Okay. That's fair. That's a small price to pay, honestly. 23. So, he launches an arrow at Vragatha and basically kind of just gives him this, this, like, you know, he kind of just, like, points up his his pointer finger, kind of like, you know what I mean, he goads him into, like, you know, come at me. Come fucking come at me. If you Oh yeah, insist. like wiggles his finger in it. <laughs> okay. Come here, baby. That's fine. Come here, baby. Bam. I'm just nothing. So. Sudden damage is nothing. Corellian's down. Malifane's getting battered. Momo and Scam are frightened. Drax is fucking off into the ethereal plane. <laughs> and Dragatha just laughs. What a pathetic attempt at defense this is. You realize your doom is at hand. You are alone! And then, from off to the northwest, you hear, bang, bang, two rifle shots echo out, and look over in that direction. No. Zutzak no. Bronzai of the Kobolds oh has shown God, up and no is shooting way. into God. Yes, <laughs> let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Both of them Alone hit. my ass! Welcome Atlas Zuckzag Zuck is here! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Zuckzag <laughs> <Zuck -Zag laughs> just showed up and is shooting Dragatha. Oh, actually he's got a bonus since he has advantage and pack tactics. Additional d6 of Zuck damage Zag. to those. So nice. he, he just did 30 damage to Jagatha shooting him in the freaking back of the neck. Casual oh, reminder that we are not Irion's finest. We <laughs> <laughs> we are the C team. <laughs> no, we're the Z team. Yeah, we're like we're Z list. The coolest people on <laughs> the continent fucking hate us. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. That's how cool we are. So Zet Zach just quickly fires, realizes. I just shot the most terrifying dragon in Erion history. He just hears this mutter. <laughs> Shit! And he just quickly tries to reload as Dragatha's staring him down. <laughs> Scam! Yeah, I'm still a frightened, uh, but hey, cool that that's happening. Good good that the, the actual gun showed up now. Um, for my action, I am going to... Uh, I can't get closer to Dragatha, so what I'm going to do instead is move 5, 10. It's difficult terrain to move through water, right? Yes. Okay, I'll move, like, onto this. That's, like, regular speed, just to move one forward. Yeah, that'll be fine. Because, okay, so then it'd be 5, so it'd be 5 to get in there, uh, 5 to jump back in the water, and then an extra 10. So I would have moved a total of 20 so far here. And then I'll 30, uh, actually that looks like solid land. So five, I should be able to get there. Um, yeah. I will then yeet a kiss Rex my, um, uh, how far could I throw a thing? Alex, like my, my, my actual like protector pack. How uh, far usually it's throw 20 it? by default, 60 long range, make an athletics check to go farther. Uh, 20 to five, actually 20 by default is fine by me. I just want to throw it over. I want to throw it off of my back to be over on this r ridge. Um, oh. So I'll just yeet it over there. And then from there, I'll use my bonus action to have it move. Um, 
So my thing will be over here. My my uh, protector pack will sprout its legs and skitter over here. Um, and... Yeah, so, and then for my action, I'm going to cast, um... Oh, I mean, why not? Might as well. I'll, I'll just cast, like, a first-level magic missile. Um, just, just to do some stuff. So that's three darts. So that's nine damage to Dragatha. And, yep, call that there. That is my turn for now. Cool. Uh, Dragatha's gonna tail smack Malphane again. Cool. You love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Okay. All right. And it is now Momo's turn. Momo, there's a giant dragon right next to you. There's literally nothing I can do that I... Is there anything I could do where I could go to Corellium without taking a freaking opportunity? Of action to disengage. Kurtu, I'll do that. Okay. So, I'll you use my action. action disengage only means you have your movement and your bonus action left. Okay, so in that case, I will use my action to disengage fly over to Corellian and use my bonus action to cast Cure Wounds. I mean heal, uh, Healing Word. Head. I'll cast that at a level 4. <coughs> you back with us! Come on, let's get back up and let's get to this. Oh, cool. All right. Curling is 19 health. In that case, and I'm going to use my movement to jump back into the water on this side. Uh, do you even have that much movement? Uh, well. Uh, that was about 40 feet of movement, I believe, from where he was. So I can go. But he could go, like, over here. Yeah. Like over over here. Yeah, I can totally do that. It. Yeah, in that case, then that's what Mom will do. Go like <laughs> into the water. Cool. I can't do that. Yeah, I don't. Never mind. That's my turn. Corellian. Oh, um, I'm up. I'm awake. Um, I am going to. Uh, use 60 points of lay on hands on myself. <laughs> yeah, good call. Now so, is the time uh, for healing. Now is the time for healing, so I'm up to 79. I've got 15 lay on hands left for, you know, should things need to happen. Uh, I'm going to stand, use half my movement to stand up. And as for bonus action, mm, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Chris Mark on Dragatha because I can. Why not? You know? Why not? Why not? It's, n- not? it's not concentration. There's no save. It's just quote. Wait, it's not concentration. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's oh, concentration. It is, it is concentration, but it's like, you know, there's no save, so like, it's free. He just does so, it. So, uh, yeah. And speaking of saves, though, Momo, wisdom saving throw to get unspooked by Chagatha. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, Momo. Don't be a bitch. Oh, uh, I will also move. Yeah! You're not spooked no more! He's so overcome his her- fear! Sorry. Sorry, uh, I will use the rest of my movement to get in the fucking water in case fire Good. happens. Again, so <laughs> now we're uh, talking. All right. So I believe Dragatha still has one legendary action left because it was two tails. So why mess with what works? Uh, 
that. That matches, I believe. That matches. Alright. So I believe it's a hit. Alrighty. Or another 13 bludgeoning. Wow. <laughs> so You're really taking it like a champ, Malafane, I gotta seriously. say. Seriously. <laughs> Malphane's bloodied, but he's doing all right. I'm going to go ahead and say Dragatha mostly cared about roasting everyone and didn't see the individual aspect that Malphane completely dodged a burst of flame. So Dragatha's going to scooch over this way, uh, dex save to avoid getting radiance. Fuck. All right. Damn it. So I mean, it still happened. It's That's still true. half of that, still ten. And because Dragatha's breath is recharged, he's just mm. gonna take in a deep breath and do it again. Targeting, uh, let's see, 90-foot cone. I think this would also, unfortunately, get the protector bot. Oh, man! So it's... Uh, I hate to see it. Would it? It's a 90-foot cone. <coughs> right. So. I think with proper sure. wrangling, it would get all uh, all five of these targets. Oh, man. All right. Yikes. All right, so. Zutzag, the Protector Bot, Malafane, Corellian, and Momo, once more. This... Blast of hellfire uh, goes straight for you. Again with the 57! Yes. <laughs> Again with the 57 exactly! Yes! Hee hee! Hee Oh, come I on! I made it! I made it! <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice! Oh, 57 quarter, baby! <laughs> 57 quarter damage! Fucking hell yeah. I'm. Basic. I am at one hit point. Yeah. Zut so second, unfortunately, I think takes all of it. No. Yeah. You just hear the that... shit <laughs> as fire envelops <laughs> Zut Zag's hiding spot. Let's let's see if my uh, protector bot can make a, de a death save with its plus zero to its save. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. Come on. That's going to be a no for me. The answer is no, but oh, it still no. tried, and that helps. Mm -hmm. So, is the protective bot down? That was 50, how much damage? 57. 57. Uh, yes, that was, that is, protector bot is destroyed. Right. Um, and as a result, it... The last, the fucking twitches and fades from this mortal world. The fucking note that it was holding for uh, Corellian burns up, which just said the words, you are a dumbass. <laughs> uh, scam. So Corellian will never see that. Um, I still have the temporary hit points that I got plan. from scam earlier, so I'm going to use those. Yeah, good. So Hold on to those temp hit points. They're done with. No more. All right. So, uh... In that case, Dragatha sees that Malafane is perfectly fine. Growls. The old-fashioned way it is, then. Right. Ah. Rax! We really love that in this house. Okay, I will appear back here. And then... Run all the way up here, because I kind of realize I'm a bit useless in this fight, all things considered. <laughs> But I can still do magic missile, so that I the shall do. The noble knight of King's March runs away like a sissy baby. Brave, <laughs> brave, 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 Mr. Robin. brave <laughs> I can't brave, fucking do anything. <laughs> brave, it's okay, it's not your fault. He was not at all afraid to be brave. burned into a crisp, or to have what his spine bitten in half and his elbows broken. <laughs> it takes ten damage. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> ten whole damage. All right, and then. Doesn't disappear. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the party. His All head right. smashed in and his heart cut hey. out and his liver removed and his bowels no. and blood. Stop his it. Mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, to smack him. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a nut. Bye, Malafane. I'm sorry, did you say uncanny dodge? <laughs> Fair. 
So now it's back to regular Jagatha tail numbers. Uh, 13 total. 13 total, okay. Uh, Jagatha's just uh, smacking him with all his might, and Malphine's just like... He's taking it. He's just... Let's his head slide to the side and then just slowly turns it back. Do it again. All right. All right. It's now your turn. Yeah, Malafane's going to first use his bonus action to disengage. Um, just a far enough that he can just get out of reach. Um, and then he's going to use his regular ass action. To- oh, that's a strength check. Oh, oh check. sorry. I thought that was at regular. I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was the DM for a second. No. Nope. Anyway. Um, anyways. Um, hmm. Do I quaff a potion or do I sneak or do I stealth? Hmm. Um, do stealth. Mama's gonna Ignore do the strength check I made. Sorry, turn. it's all good. Yeah, all right then. Um, yeah, he's gonna dive back in or oh, Oof. all right. Yeah, that's not bad. There is a chance. Wow. <laughs> okay. Right. So he kind of just like sinks into the water as if to say, later, bitches. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right. He is hidden. <laughs> Jagatha growls, turns to everyone else, sees that Zutzak is now reloaded. <laughs> All right. He does not have hack tactics. Uh, however, one of Zutzak's abilities as a sniper is this, so he can have a better chance of hitting. <laughs> Nice. This is gonna try and Ow. shoot some more. Come on, Zetzag. Yeah. Didn't need it! Didn't need it! He got a crit! <laughs> Good boy. Good fucking My boy. lad! My lad! <laughs> Fuck yes! That is. Fuck me! Alright. I, I love him. So, 37 total damage as Zetzag just keeps blasting away at Dragatha. I'm pretty sure this is heresy! I am too terrified to care right now, says that said. I love it. I love him. <laughs> Alright. And scam. Oh, okay. Um if not, I'm still I'm still afraid, so I can't actually move It sucks, I would love to move one over to help jump, but I can't. Because <laughs> I'm a fear, so I'm just gonna have to jump. Uh, does this space I'm now currently stepping on count as land or as water? Because it's got, That's like, land. half and half on it. That's land? Okay, so it's 5, 10, 20, 30. Swim over there. Um, I shan't get any closer. Um, and then I want to cast... Hmm. Sorry, one moment. I, I there's not a lot scam likely can do in these circumstances. Um, because he has a lot of fire-based spells. Yeah, a lot of fire-based spells. Against and it yeah. sucks that this is happening. Um, I know. Okay, I will do. I would be so much more useful if they weren't. Fire resistant. <laughs> fire immune. I'm gonna my fire, fire immune. immune. I'm gonna try something. Why not? It's probably gonna fail. But I'll cast shatter over on Dragatha. I'm mostly seeing how that's gonna react with all the crystals on its back. All right. Um, and then I'll and then I'm gonna oh. add an extra. Yeah, oh. it saves. I'm gonna add an extra because it still it take, he takes like half, right? Yeah, six damage. Cool. It takes six damage. Um. I'm also going to take, um, where, where, did it, where did it go? I, it didn't do it automatically. I should be able to, uh, yeah, I, 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 sh- I should be able to add an extra D8 to that because of my thing. It didn't do it automatically. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's <laughs> whole whopping extra point. One um, whole damage. <laughs> One yeah, whole damage. One whole damage. Dragatha had one hit point. He's dead, though. No. <laughs> oh god, if only. 
fall, felled by the smallest. But what I am going to do... Oh, wait, no, I don't think I can because that is a... Um, uh, I think that can only be on a attack. Oh, wait. Oh, when you damage a creature with attack or spell. Yeah, I'll, I'll deal an extra 13 damage to Dragatha just with Fury of the Small. He doesn't take half of that. He just takes the full 13. He just takes yeah. an extra 13 damage. Just straight up 13 so, more damage as you send out this up. blasting wave of sound. The crystals vibrate, but don't appear to be, like, breaking under the assault. Okay, good. I just wanted to test that one out. Then, bonus action, I will hide. Obviously, disadvantage, because Scam is afraid, and then I will make my wisdom save. Um, where did my Beyond 20 go? There it is. Make this a disadvantage. Please roll that. There you go. Ah, that's a four. Whopping oh. four. Does Dragatha see me, Alex? I'm pretty sure Dragatha sees you. But you rolled for Malifane, so can you roll for me, too? Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Wow! Yeah, he's he okay. sees you. Yeah. Who would have? He done? literally has you at the direct center of his pupil. God. His, his head turns, and you kind of hear like that. You know, when you're like pushing a stone object or something, that like his mm -hmm. head turns, and that just makes that noise. And then I'll do my wisdom save. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna reaction use flash of genius, so I am no longer afraid. Good call. Good call. <laughs> smart call. You are no yeah. longer <laughs> scared. I'm skirt. no longer scared. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hell yeah. I can finally do things again. I'm going to chill out next to this rock in the water, so you guys keep doing your thing. All right. You know what time it is. It's time for everyone to heal. Oh, oh spicy. That is nice. That is sweet and delicious. Uh... It's magically delicious. <laughs> Dragatha, in the meantime, is going to look once more for Malifane. Nope. That is out for you. Nope. Yeah, he really does. Cool. What, what is it specifically about me? You've been You're doing the most damage hiding. so far. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, it's been predominantly you. Zuckzag just came in, but he's looking not great. <laughs> Right. Okay, in that case, I'm going to use a bonus action to use Healing Word on Zedzag. You, can't, you cannot do oh, that. what? Can't do that. You cannot use spells that have spell levels uh, more than once. So, like, you can do either Mass Cure oh, Wounds okay. or Healing Word. Or a cantrip. You can add a, oh, no, it's because you, yeah, if you have a bonus yeah. action cantrip, then you can do a bonus action cantrip, but... Okay, in that case, uh, I'll, I guess I'll do... Uh, there's nothing I can do. Um, Drown. Wait, wait. actually, no, no I'm no. going to cast Resistance on Corellian. Is that a cantrip? Yes. Is oh. that a bonus action? Uh, No, it's an action. Never mind. That'll, uh. that, that's my turn. That's my turn. Cool. Then it's Corellian's turn. Neat. Um... I accidentally didn't did a thing with the roll twenty, but the uh, when when Dracotha, like flapped his wings and went up into the air, was that a strength save or a dex save that I had to do? Uh, da, 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 that is a dex save. <laughs> okay, all right, neat, good to know. Um, in that case. Krillian is going to... Krillian is going to use their action to activate, enlarge, or reduce. So they're going to embiggen themselves this time, and they're going to use their movement to move 15 feet, 5, 10, like 15 feet over here, and that is going to be their turn for now. Cool. You are now medium. Dragatha's going to do one more check, because he can. And he's not in range to do any of the other legendary actions. Nope. Nope. Ah. Definitely Wow. Not. Wow, with a natural wow. one, I beg your fucking pardon? Hate that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fat bet. You Fat gotta love it. Bet. You gotta hate to see it. Gotta love to All right. see it. <laughs> so, uh... 
In that case, it is Dragatha's turn. First off, the Guardian of Faith. So, advantage, dex save. Ah, man, so fucking close. Still half Still damage. damage. Half Still half damage. damage. Still flab 10 damage. Uh, the one who's been doing the next most amount of damage has been Zutzag, so uh, Dragatha is going to flap his wings, fly straight over. It'll be an attack of opportunity from Malifane <laughs> once again. Hell take it! Yeah. Take it! Take it! I will fucking take it, and I'll use a wraith. Oh, wait, it's only a melee weapon anyways, so... Ah! Oh, man! You, uh, you surface in the water like, I'm ready! I'm ready to do this! Oh shit, he's already out. Oh well. Alright. He's gonna get right in Zutzag's grill, because Dracatha's fucking pissed. Yeah. And let's see. Zutzag's AC is... 17. This is going to suck. Oh! <gasps> no way! Oh. It still takes damage, it still hits. Right, 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 I forgot. Yeah, forgot. matching still hits. It hits. Right. Uh, Alright, oh, so... 30, 40, 53 total damage on Zutzag, who is somehow barely hanging on. <laughs> you fucking go, Zutzag, I believe in you! Dragatha smirks. I see they make kobolds out of hardier stuff. What fun worshippers you will be. Rax. How about more magic missile? Because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Rax it all off in the corner, still plinking away. I'm gonna hide behind this like pillar thing. God. What's that one song that goes dun 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 dun? Dun 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 dun. You know the one. <laughs> popcorn. Eleven. It's just going to that popcorn. It's just going to that song. All right. Yeah. So eleven total damage. Dragatha's just looking really irritated, and uh, it is now. So I've been rolling secretly to see who joins in the battle next, as <laughs> Rax disappears into the ethereal realm, and as Dragatha roars out a challenge to who the hell keeps shooting me. You hear a loud BOOM in the distance, and look over Whoop. as a cannonball flies straight for Dragatha. It misses, what? but you hear the chittering of a whole lot of Okiti on a ship <gasps> aiming their siege no. weapons at Dragatha. Oh my God! No way. <laughs> Is this all of our enemies showing up to kill us and they realize, oh shit, that's uh, Dragatha? That is like, fucking no. exactly yeah, what this yeah, is! Everyone is saying, motherfucker, it's Dragatha! <laughs> So like quite literally, so everyone here is show. Okay, everyone but Zutzag thus far has shown up to kill us personally. But then they see Dragatha and they're like, Ah, small. you don't know okay, for sure gotcha. what Yokini showed up for, but they're shooting Dragatha now. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Rameg, it is so good to see you. I don't think I he feels the same way. Love. You know what? I still love him, even if the feeling isn't mutual. I will love him forever, <laughs> whether he likes it or not. All right, Malifan. You know what this is. Come on, you know exactly what's happening. Yeah. Uh, let me actually adjust you got this position real quick. That's the quickest way there. All right, <laughs> thank you. Uh, 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 uh. All right, one hit. That's fine. Twenty-two hit. Yeah. Uh, let's sneak attack. Do I want to use actually? No. No, oh, fuck that. That's a 21. I'm fucking using, uh, using precision attack for that motherfucker. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's add a d8 to that. Come Roll on. Roll literally anything. It'll <laughs> hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And does that add damage? I don't think it does. No, that's fine. All right. All right. So, damage plus sneak attack on the first hit. And... Oh well, it was uh, worth a shot. That was just damage. And second hit. Uh, without sneak attack. That's still, that's still good. I will take the. That's a six, actually. That's a full damage. Um, yeah. All right. Um, and then do I want to do anything else? No, fuck that. I'm I'm getting mileage out of this. Fucking dive back down. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Well, that's not great. 
That's most unfortunate. Yeah. Oh well. It was fun <laughs> while it lasted. Fun while it lasted. All right. Uh, Ragatha is smart enough to know that he probably can't take out Zutzag in one attack, so he's saving that legendary action. <laughs> Zutzag does not have disadvantage. Oh, wait, does he not have disadvantage? Is that the right thing? No, this is the right thing. <laughs> Zutzag does not have disadvantage at the range attacks when he's in melee. Nice. So guess oh, what? Shit. It's still shooting time, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. He uh, can't add a d4 to the 17, so still 13 damage, because Zutzak's got a gun. That shit hurts. Got a Zutzak's gun. Zutzak's got a gun. <laughs> and Jagatha is looking especially pissed. Yay. Scam. So, Alex, I have a question for you. By the map geometry I am looking at on the art that I'm seeing, could I feasibly Legolas Hobbit this and bounce off of these squares that have all, like, land on them to move without my movement being difficult? Make an acrobatics check. Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Uh, I, I will, but are you sure you want me to do that? <laughs> I would love to see you do that. Oh my god. Okay, I'll still do it. I'll still do it. Because, I mean, like, I can always reaction myself to, like, boost it higher. But, like, I got, like, a plus two. Um, so, because there's a thing I really, really want to do, and I really want this to work. And I can only do it if I have unimpeded movement. So... I will have the okay. It's normal roll. So this is a this is an acrobatics check. You said this is an acrobatics check. Nice, yeah. No way! <laughs> you oh. fucking legless boop. hobbit onto boop. that broken battlement, hopping onto solid ground. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Can I? Can I? I can move one more and kind of be like straddling this gap like <laughs> you kind just of dramatically the leap across the gap like, like I'm right in front of Dragatha I'm like oh shit and then I look up at Dragatha who's face I'm actually looking at Dragatha's asshole right now but like <laughs> I look over hey. uh, I look over into the water scam like sees like fucking um Zutzag's like gun and is like hey that's cool keep fucking him up uh, I'm gonna pull out my tranquilizer pipe shooter <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to aim it up at Dragatha's butthole and go, nah, not the time. I instead turn it around, point it towards, uh, Corellian, and I yell up at Dragatha. I say, here's the thing, fuckhead. This guy, okay, he's like, it's complicated. He's not my boyfriend, but we got something. Anyway, I'm going to make him fuck you up. I'm going to cast haste on Corellian. Um. Nice. <laughs> gay. Nice. Gay. I love uh, gay. gay. Homosexual gay. 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 Triple gay. <laughs> It's so complicated, but he is going to wreck your fucking shit, buddy. Oh, uh, so they're gonna so I shoot, I shoot Corellian with fucking steroids, um, and then I wish I could move anymore <laughs> because I'm right in. I am, however, going to let me double check this. Um, where, where? Let me see, because I, I want to double check something. Um, where did it go? Um. Okay, I, I, I can't move anymore, I don't think. So nope. I'm going to... Sure, once again, I'll bonus action hide. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> why not? Um, he just jumps into the little, like, uh, crack. Oh, the, actually, like, no, Alex, I have a question stone. for you. There's, like, a crack right here, right? That yeah. I'm standing on? Mm -hmm. Can I reasonably just say it? Can I just fall into that crack willingly? Sure. Can I just willingly fall into this crack? So I'm, I'm like, because I'm right there, so I'm just... Because I have no movement left, but I want to get the fuck out of this immediate, like, thing. I want to get some cover, so I'm just going to fall into this crack. So, <laughs> I'll willingly just, go prone. From one, from one crack just, to like... another, scam likely. Yeah, scam likely, finder of cracks. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's <laughs> Achieve and get find the cracks. Uh, okay, cool. Then I'm going to still try. Because, I mean, honestly, I have no other bonus action, so I might as well bonus action hide. Um... This is a disadvantage because I fucking got armor on. Mm -hmm. um, sure, stealth. Here we go, baby. Um, okay. 
Um, that's not terrible. I, you know what? Why not? I have it. I'll fucking give myself a plus five to make that 21. I sure. might as well give myself a better chance of being hidden. Okay, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you it's know. the thought that counts, Alex. You attempted. You attempted, and that's what that You know what? I, I would rationally say, Dragatha, I am a small little goblin. I have done minuscule damage to him. I am not on Dragatha's list of priorities. So I'm going to sit in this crevice and wait for my not kobold boyfriend to fuck him up. Alrighty. Wait, kobold not boyfriend. Hold on a second. Yeah, wait, you okay. just kind of ah, the wording. You're right. I'm so boyfriend. sorry. My kobold not boyfriend. It's complicated, but yeah, he is a kobold. I can assure everyone here he is a kobold. Out of character, Mal just looks at Dragatha and is like, kill one of us, mirror him, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor text, out of character, Momo and Dragatha look at each other and they both shrug. God. <laughs> All right, so that is Scam Speaking Likely's turn and what a turn it was, because now yeah. I, I, I have hasted. My favorite thing to do in this world <laughs> is haste Corellian. Yeah. Yay. Especially something, when he is in big Something, pathetic defender, something, something. <laughs> okay, Momo. so... I have a question. If I were to use destroy undead, so for the- No, it wouldn't work. The... Wouldn't it work. would not work. All He's right. too high CR. Okay. Too high CR. All right, cool. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. You now, can... for my next big mm. important question. Mm. I'm very much considering using my level six spell. Now, hold on, hold on. I have three spells that I could use. Mm. Well, two spells. Sure? I have the heal that mm. I was going to save in case everyone was like dying. And I also have blade barrier. How, how's barrier. that drag looking? Terrible. <laughs> oh, use okay, the heal. I'm... Heal, heal, heal fucking Malafane, Corellian, yourself, and Zutzag if you can. Okay, like, I'll actually. Oh, wait. I'll actually it's only one that. creature. Heal is only one oh, creature, only... I believe. Oh, heal is only one creature. Yeah, then I'll, I'll save. I, I'm I'll... a dodge tank, so Zutzag. No, I, honestly, if Zutzag's, Zutzag is doing aces, like, you should heal Zutzag, I think. All right, then yeah. I will use uh, I will use cure wounds so that I can still have that. Uh, cure wounds touch. No, no, I'm saying you should use heal on Zutzag to because he is doing the lion's share of damage right now. And if you can only heal one person, heal the guy who's doing the most fucking damage right now. Okay. Yeah. Damn. All right. That's so, why I wanted to save it. <laughs> Zutzag yeah. covered in like hellfire, ash, and his own blood, just as a wash in this wave of divine energy, healing most of his wounds, as he gets up, reloads, gives a thumbs up to Momo. Momo gives a big thumbs up back. Knock him dead, darling! <laughs> I'm sorry? All right. <laughs> you uh, do still have your movement, so, uh, wait. Yeah, you're out yeah, of I, you're out of opportunity attack range, so you can get the fuck out of dodge for like fifty feet if you yeah, want. Fly the fuck away. Okay. You might want to get the fuck back. Yes. You might want to get the I, fuck I, back. Hey, so I'm gonna get the fuck back. See ya. Uh, good, good luck, Krillian. Mew. Mew. Neat. And he kind of just tucks himself behind some broken stone walls. All right. In that case. Uh, Fuck you're not hidden, scary. right, Mel? Uh, no. Okay. But I forgot to use my movement, but I don't think it counts because <laughs> I think I'm still within. I still think I'm within 15 feet, right? Uh, tail has a range yes, of 20. Ah, okay. Okay. It's a long ass tail. Bam. Uh, how much damage does that do? That. Oh, that's just 15. Wait. Oh, that's. Wait. What? What did he? 22 roll? bludgeoning. No. What did he roll? 25 to 25. hit. 25 to hit. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. 31. All right. All right. Corellian. Oh, the time has come. I'm using my yeah! feet of movement to get the fuck over here, and we are going buck wild. And I've got advantage. Yeah. As they depend yeah. On the Corellian, fuck it. Okay. Back so. tactics, baby. Hell yeah. So that's three attacks. Two Twenty-four hit. and twenty-eight hit. Just roll the twenty-four for Excellent. me first, please. Oh. 24 first, so that's uh, 11 radiant, 
What is that? The plus four is from the Inbigan, I believe. So, I believe so, yeah. yes. <laughs> All right. So, so you strike Dragatha dead on with the Cutlass of the Winter Queen, and once more he bellows forth that terrible roar. And as he does so, the crystals on his back vibrate wildly and just shatter. Well, the power in them releases, and Dragatha just ignites. Oh. <laughs> Time. This wave Ooh. of fire rushes oh. through the area. I believe Momo and Rax are out of range. Yeah, Momo I'm not is there. out of range. Rax is in another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Be like that. Uh, Alex, I'm technically in water, right? You are Because I willingly fell in the crack. So, cool. Oh. I have advantage on my save then. Oh, that's that. Mm, oh my mm. god! Fuck it. Deck save time, time, yeah? Deck save time. Deck save. I don't like that. <gasps> oh my god! Quarter damage, baby. Quarter so damage, quarter baby. Damage. Uh, I'm concerned because, Crowley, you might be in trouble if I fail this check. Uh, because if I lose concentration on this, you are immediately going to have to stop doing anything. Because haste will have ended on you. <laughs> Three damage. Uh, that's so let's see. All right. I have advantage on this. I will need to roll. I don't have my reaction back, so I will literally need to roll an 18 or higher. Right, um, come on. Fingers crossed. In order to not take, I mean, it's not the end of the world then, because I mean, I, I just don't. I, if I if I can succeed yeah. this, and it'll help me even in the long run. But like, all right, so dexterity save. Okay, it's fine. So I will take the full twenty-two, which means that I have to roll an eleven or higher concentration check. Right? Uh, Fifteen, actually. Fifteen damage. I rolled super low. Oh. So I only <laughs> need to roll a ten or higher. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you should be fine. What? <coughs> oh, wait, hold on. I fucked that up. My bad. Because um, I was I was at max, wasn't I? Yeah. 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 Sorry, let me let me fix myself because I had the 13. Oh, wow. I barely take... I only take two to have my actual health. That's awesome. All right, there we go. I'm at 94. All right, so I need to roll... Remind me what a concentration check is? Uh, Constitution saving throw. Cool. I have a plus eight to that. Yeah. Oh I my literally... God. I, I can only fail this oh, if oh, I'm not going to... Uh, I, I, I don't have advantage on this. Allow me to uh, uncheck disadvantage through. All right. Uh, this is a normal roll. I want my kobold not boyfriend to succeed. <laughs> so. Yep, we good, baby. You yes! still hasted. We gooch. We gooch. You still hasted. All right. Cool. So I think I took three damage off that. <laughs> three damage so from bad. that. You were just completely <laughs> unimpressed by this girl. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so it's my third attack hit. The third attack does hit. I want to troll the first one to see if it would do enough damage to get him into mythic action phase. Excellent. Mythic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the third attack and then I'm gonna figure out smite shit. Uh. Because I can smite on both of those, so I'm going and, to use a and hunter's mark. Uh, hunter's mark is attached to the radiant. It's got the plus four going. Yeah, that's yep. awesome. So um, I am going to do a first level and a second level, and also I didn't. I was a big dummy and I didn't read things, but if the target is an undead or a fiend, the damage increases by one d8. So I roll a three d8 and a four d8. Nice. Whoa. Spicy. This is hot. This I mean, he's a red dragon, so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking delicious. Oh, yes! So that's 15 and 27. That's You're right. You are technically going to take 1d10 fire damage for hitting him again, but you're Corellian. You <laughs> take zero fucking damage! You take zero fucking damage! Fucks. Oh, Corellian fucks! Corellian is Chad! Woo! Okay, um... Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's my fucking turn. All right. In that case, Dracotha's got mythic actions now. He... What are mythic, mythic. actions? 
Yeah, they're like legendary what? actions, but what happens after he loses his first health bar? Oh. His first health bar? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we have entered phase two of the boss fight. We have entered phase two of the boss Ooh. fight. The land is burning around you as Dragatha screams and fire rages on. And he turns and just spews, like, acidic flame over towards Ooh. Corellian and Malathane. So, 2d4. Yeah. Yeah, he's covering a whole lot of the area around you in fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. Oh, I see. All right. So, that was a l mythic action. It is now Dragatha's turn proper. Uh. All right. He does not recharge Dragatha's breath. Good. Okay. But again, Malifane, I don't think you are hidden. So Dragatha just becomes this whirling ball of anger and flailing limbs. He goes to bite you. This is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to dodge that one. Okay, so half of that would be 18. All right, 18. All right. Oh, I'll calculate it all. One. I'm assuming he has he has multi. He's gonna use multi attacks. So. Oh yes, he does. Uh, I'm waiting to see everything. Else. So claw to Malifane for fifteen. Okay. And then he's okay. going to whirl around and claw Corellian. So. Oh, uh, Mal's down. Mal's down. Oh. Mal is down, and Mal is on fire. <laughs> oh great. Oh. <laughs> all right. Kino How Kino. do you light a Malphite underwater? That's a good question, actually. Yeah, that is a very good question. The water is fucking on fire. Shit is bad. <laughs> well, oil he can burn on top so of water. Uh, yeah. Wait, I have a plus two to AC, so that doesn't hit. All right, congratulations. You just barely duck out of the way of the sweeping... Uh, claw as Dragatha roars once again. Technically, frightful presence will only hit Zutzag, because uh, the Okini are well out of range. Mm. So, wisdom saving throw oh, to avoid God. getting frightened. Zutzag gives boy! no fucks. <laughs> Zutzag God. throws up the devil bird <laughs> as Dragatha spews fire freaking everywhere, and. Uh, I actually rolled for the emergence of two helpful characters this time, so we're gonna go ahead and get those and oh. then end a little early because we're on mythic phase already. So yeah, uh, Malafane, you uh, you yep. get a hit a whole bunch, start dropping into the fire, light starts leaving your eyes, and then uh -huh. da, 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 <laughs> you just feel the surge of energy jolt through you. Uh and you are huh? back on your feet. What? Homest? Huh? Who? Yeah. Homest? And you look over, you feel yourself Wait, getting dragged a little no. through the water. Homest is dragging him. Homest <gasps> is no! dragging him. No. Yeah. And you look no. over no. and see a grumbling Kailani <gasps> dragging your body <gasps> out of the fire. Literally. Literally. They all came here to kill us and then they realized that shit's getting bad. <laughs> Every one of our enemies is here to fuck our shit up. <laughs> what the fuck? God. All right. And Kailani... I know you want it. That you do. Kailani crumbles. <sighs> Holy shit. Yep. I'm so happy. I'm All right. so fucking and happy. And Kailani's just under the water to begin with. He's doing fine. He can fucking swim. He has no reason to go oh, up for anything. I fucking love him. Yeah. And then, as, uh, as Dragatha roars and prepares to set more stuff on fire, uh, the air around you suddenly gets colder as he gets mm -hmm. struck by a ray of frost. By who? <laughs> yes. You, uh, you look over towards the northeast. I dragged her into frame for ease of seeing. And walking through the flames, 
not visible on the battlefield because I don't want to run all of them, are the Shi Sinfei. Weapons pointed at Dracotha. Yeah. <laughs> Scam likely from his, like, perch position says, I'm the least jazzed about you showing up. You committed war crimes. <laughs> we can discuss who committed war crimes later, grumbles so <laughs> Yeah! Oh! Oh! Diplomacy, you say? Discussion, you say? not time for that. <laughs> I'm going to redirect this ray of frost at you, I swear to god! Please. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so, uh... So, every, every, uh, character who shows up to help is a little bit different. Some of them have, like, one turn, one turn effects. <laughs> None of them have shown up yet. Yeah. Okay. Solana and the Shisen Fei have several minor one term effect one turn effects that you can call on at will because I don't wanna have to make that judgment yeah. call for myself. Sure. I'll copy and paste all of them in the chat here. Ooh. Beautiful. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh, Amarin is the most fucking useless one here. <laughs> yeah. His only ability is to do fire damage. No, oh, he no, can no, tank no. a fire. Oh, yeah, he just nullifies a fire breath attack on anyone. God, he's actually really good. <laughs> I thought it said he takes a fire attack. I'm like, oh, that's useless. Yeah, that's really it good. really is useless. That's yeah. really good that he can do that. I love that. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, three, uh, Umariah heals everyone, by the way, for a burst of healing. But we can Nothing. discuss what to do with those next time. Uh, oh, and it God. will be Rax's turn next, oh, okay. and we shall see the conclusion of the fight against the Scourge of Arion, Dragatha. Thank you so much for joining us. We are ending a little bit early because this is as good a time to end as any, all things considered. We will yeah. see you all next week for more Fallen Empires. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Bye.